<laughs> What's up, guys? It's your boy Jay the Sting right back here again, uh, aka Mr. Wednesday Night. We got another commentary coming at you. This is going to be 30 Days of Night. It's a film I like quite a bit, and I can't wait to talk about it with you guys. And let's see, we have here the man, the myth, the legend. Boy! It is. All right, we'll get back to work in a minute. Um... Got some Mal Magro. Oh. Yeah, what's up, faggot? What's going on, man? <laughs> man? 30 seconds in, just like always. Retarded, just oh. straight up retarded. Yep. Cool. All right, we covered all our bases. We got them. Well, we got a few more, but let's let's not let, let's save. save those. Let's save those for later. Save. The man who needs no introduction. Dan the man. Getting banned right off the bat. Damn. <laughs> I guess you, know, you just gotta go for it though. Uh, go big or go home, I guess. Right, Ork? Yep. That's Dan what all Shine. my girlfriends Flesh have said. Wound. Daniel Shine! Yeah. Flesh Wound Features, man. What's going on? Nothing much. I uh, did a show earlier, and uh, this worked out nicely. Yeah. yeah. Thanks for Real joining me. Real talk, well. Ork. <laughs> Jerry. Oh. Very nice. Real talk. Oh, yeah. Doing Where are my sugar, teeth? Sugar-free tribute to the troops tonight. Oh, okay. The Rip It? Yeah, those are good. Yeah, they're not bad. I mean, for a dollar. Yeah. Cheers. Yeah, it's a dollar store. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers, Orc. Got a zero sugar coming at you. Oh, oh. We Clink. We're, we're all sugar-free tonight. And uh, the high C kid himself. Nice. One, two, one, two, three. I can hear it feeling when the clock strikes three. I can touch it, taste it, I'm finally free. Cause it's my time, my time is up to me. I see, I see when it's up to me. I can rock and feel it, do as I see fit. I can play. What's up, man? Hey, well. I was going to tell you what's up. I'm out of high C. Oh. oh. It was, went, went to put it in my grocery order, my pickup order uh, this past week, and they didn't have that. They didn't have Hawaiian Punch. All right. Well, All the right. whole show is canceled. I'll, I'll, yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll tell, <laughs> yeah. I'll Come on, tell you Come on. if you're doing the pickups at, like, Walmart, they don't have anything. Now, if you go in, yeah. The, yeah. which really annoys me, it's there usually. Few oh, that, that pisses me off. I, I thought that at the beginning of this whole thing. I do yeah. use them. I try to rotate the grocery stores, but they all piss me off at some point. And then I don't want to go back and I'm running out of <laughs> yeah. choices. But let me tell you what really grinds my gears. Yeah. They've been doing that a lot to us lately, too. You too? Ah. Oh. So I don't have that, but I will get a Coca-Cola or root beer or something. We'll do a I'll join in with you guys in the soda. The man's drink. Yeah, it, it's ridiculous. I I think I had like Monster or, or something. They didn't have that. They didn't have like any of my frozen stuff. And I go in, it's all there. It's right there oh. in the store. So. Oh, that pissed me off. Yeah. Then I wouldn't I, even want to buy it from there if I saw that happen. <laughs> Not, they they fuck shit you off at the, the Walmart. Walk out. <laughs> Walmart. The fuck you in any of them, man. Shit. They just have all their bills. I hate to admit it because like, I, they're just oh. like, like knocking <laughs> shit in. Really. I do not like Walmart whatsoever. It's they're dirty stores. People there. I, I don't know. I don't. This whole show's <laughs> the <canceled>. people there. <laughs> <laughs> I can't stand it. It disgusts me. But anyway, <laughs> they've been the best as far as getting my grocery shit. You know, right? Not fucking shit up but anyway my real grind is with coca-cola right now which i'm probably going to drink one of their beverages i got a <laughs> hold of them or i keep trying to message them about high c they keep sending me this generic email back 
not even mentioning what I'm talking about, <laughs> like starts talking about other products. <laughs> and I'm just like, this is the third time. Where's my fucking ecto cooler? I even told him, call it green slime cooler. Call it something. <laughs> call it anything. I mean, I don't think Ghostbusters yeah. owns the flavor. Ghost cooler. Right? Yeah. If if they don't have the license, it's something about licensing, I'm sure. But call it tangerine or whatever. Yeah. It will. What it was. It was a, that flavor was still there a while, but I don't know. Bring it back. It was one of my favorite flavors, aside from getting like the the high C orange at McDonald's. Yeah, but anyway, I don't, I don't understand why it's not a year long thing. It should be. The shit is delicious. It's better than 80, 90% of their flavors that they do offer. There's some like really nasty flavors of high C. Yeah. But anyway, fuck them. We might have to change mine. If they don't get their shit together. <laughs> <laughs> we just need to get Melissa McCarthy to tell us what's up, man. Like, why, there you why go. are they not putting it out? Fucking why not? That's all I want to know. Bill Murray would get the job done. Shit. I'm surprised he's <laughs> even doing this move. Don't get me started on Bill Murray. And I like Bill Murray. I did I'm a fan, but motherfucker, we should have had Ghostbusters 3 10 years ago. I think it was just always a script thing with him. After two wasn't as nearly as good as the first one. I think he was just Oh suck my good. balls, he did Garfield too. <laughs> Well, you can whore yourself out as a voice. A tale character. of two kitties. Well, then whore yourself out to something the fans love. <laughs> Crying I mean, out loud. If, if you give me seven figures for a, for a voice thing, I'll, I'll probably do just about anything. I mean, why not? <laughs> give me five bucks and a bottle of liquor. You do. <laughs> just all do bad lasagna jokes and sit in a dark room for a few hours. Not a big deal. Oh, no. Yeah. It's Monday again. <laughs> Damn it. I'm sorry. I need to eat a hot dog or something. My blood sugar must be low. <laughs> so I don't, I don't Hi, everybody out there, Ben. Hey, Corey. Hey, uh, Corey. Saucy. Oh, hello. <laughs> oh. Does my thing say Kathy? <laughs> it does. Does. Hey, Kathy. Uh, those hey, are Kathy. some. Those are some hairy titties, Kathy. Oh, thank you. I'm gonna okay, go get my uh, real talk and make a hot dog, guys. Excuse me. Right, real talk. Ooh, I dogs in your mouth. Yeah. I found my DVD of this movie, but I realized <laughs> it's on Amazon. So yeah, I that's why I picked it, it on there. primarily. Because it seems like more people show up if it's something widely available. So. Yeah. I'm watching <laughs> it on Voodoo, so it could be synced up. I own it on Voodoo. It's like it's got to be one of the main streaming services and not YouTube. That was fucked up last week. <laughs> okay, it's a titty shot. All right, nothing serious. Yeah, that 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 video should be up later on tonight. I'm rendering it now. What what happened? It was, man. It was all the. Um, I don't know the terminology. This uh, special people dating videos. Oh, that, that Jamie wanted to show that uh, <laughs> they did not like that at all. So uh, that was, that was uh, like I kept trimming it, and they never got trimmed out. So I'm just gonna have to re-upload <laughs> the whole thing. So yeah, I I, <laughs> I figure that must have been a mess. Funny. Oh, it was like twelve copyright. Uh, claims on it so i gotta do some dishes but then i'll be there okay so yeah, i'll for... still start the movie with you guys okay <laughs> do some dishes <laughs> i need i need to clean my whole apartment to be honest but gotta start i haven't cleaned my room in like two years you're fine dude figure it out <laughs> that's like dust literally... all over my movies. There's like dust over all my movies and games. It, Dude, it hasn't too. been touched since Sausage Factory. It's literally exactly the same. Uh -huh. Yeah. <laughs> well, I much. recently found out normal people vacuum regularly, and I vacuum like once a year. So maybe I should do it more often. I don't know. 
Yep, yeah, once a year is fine. Yeah, probably. Or get a girlfriend. Oh, that'll that'll <laughs> clean your shit up real fast. <laughs> yeah. It's always it's always funny if it's like a last minute date or a hookup and then you're just like losing your fucking mind trying to get it clean. I've been there. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, there was an episode of Friends like that where uh, Ross goes over to this girl's place. And she's like really hot and he's really into her and stuff, but her place is just a disgusting mess. And she has a pet rat that's just like in the dirty clothes. It's, you know. Uh, <laughs> Which, I mean, can you have funny. a pet rat in New York? Isn't it just like, you know. Natural. Yeah, that's, uh, not pet. I mean, come on. Not your pet. Some big ass rats out there, there too. I mean. I've seen like Chihuahua size fucking yeah. rats. It's freaky. Yeah, it's crazy. So those big German ones, I think they are, or it's like a mix or something, like a cross that. It's not like the you know little rats. It's, these things are massive. I haven't watched tonight's movie in uh, quite a while, so I'm excited. I'm a fan as well. It's definitely been a few years for me, for sure. Um, My go-tos in the winter are Die Hard 1 and 2, The Thing, The Shining, and 30 Days of Night. Those are like my top five. I've got uh, that Thing 4K coming soon, hopefully. I think it was delayed. Yeah, it got mine got delayed till like the middle of September, and I'm pissed. Oh, uh, shit. I didn't realize that was out already. It came out on Tuesday. I wasn't going to buy it. I didn't even know it was coming out. And then I was like, oh my God, the thing's coming out on 4K. And I'm like, all right. <laughs> Bye-bye. Because I know what happened to Alien. It went out of print. So, and the thing is, I think, well, it depends who you talk to, but those are like two of the most, you know, loved films. Uh, it's a masterpiece. Horror. Definitely. Seems like just a few years ago, I shelled out a bunch of money for that. Special edition Blu-ray. So, I don't know, man. I can't keep buying the same movies over and over, even though it is like possibly one of my favorite films of all time. You know, is Hayden like getting ready to fist somebody right now? Dude, these dishes have been sitting here for a while. You can't be too careful. <laughs> <laughs> you don't use paper plates and shit. Paper? I do. I've got like five plates that. I'll have mold on them right now. Oh, I'm sitting here. I would just use. I would just eat hot pockets every day if I live by myself. Yeah, I mean that's basically my life. I would get like takeout Domino's, you know. Yeah, dude, Domino's is the shit. I'd be a yeah, fat fuck. Stuff. Well, I already am, but still, you know what I mean. I'd be a fatter fuck. You guys go Domino's or Pizza Hut? Dominoes. Yeah. And they've got that, like, what is it, like a 599 carry ideal or something? It's crazy. Definitely can't beat the prices. Yeah. All Plus three are good. Domino's, Pizza Hut, and Papa John's. If you're just like, I hate my life and I want to get delivery. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Yeah, Papa John's and Domino's both have the points system where you know you buy like four or five pizzas and you get a free one or something like that. So yeah, that's pretty cool. I think Hungry Howie's does that now too. You buy enough pizzas, you can't move off of the couch. You like job of the hut, and you get a free pizza. <laughs> ah, yeah, classic. Nice. Ooh. Do you guys have Hungry Howie's? Oh my god, twinsies. Do you have Hungry Howie's or? No, I don't. We have nothing in Maine. I wonder where that's uh, based out of. We got two of them here. Alabama. I don't think I've ever heard of Hungry Howie's. Yeah. Did that have a cherry on it? Or is that that zero sugar... uh, Delicious yes. flavor, whatever they're saying on it. Yes, sir. <laughs> oh, this shit's so gross. Is that cherry coke? Yep. Cherry coke zero. Oh. 
You know what I really like is like a real cherry coat. Yep. The, the grenadine. Or... Yeah. They said a Michigan. Huh. Yeah, they don't have them anywhere where I live, but like the soda mixers that Coke makes, where you can pick like a million flavors. You know what I'm talking about, Jess? Yeah, the, the machines that. Yeah, the, they're like the size the of like a vending yeah. machine. If they fall on you, they'd kill you. With death by soda. So, <laughs> look, my dream. You know, those things are like 100 grand. Yeah, really? No shit. They're really, really expensive. Yeah. Ugh. If I was a Saudi prince, that would be the first thing I'd buy. That's expensive. I think I'd get like a slush puppy machine or something if I was a Saudi prince. <laughs> I love I love what Billy. Eminem did. He just got a Taco Bell with like one guy working there in his house. That would be the coolest thing ever. Of all things, that's the coolest thing. It's the Taco Bell in your house, or like, like or, what's or, up, or, bro? I want that uh, grilled step burrito. I know it's not on the menu anymore, but you've got the ingredients right there. Go ahead. And have how's it. your How's your sleep, man? Okay, I'll take I'll take uh, gorditos nacho. I mean, that'd be the easiest job in the world. You just sit there all day until, like, you know, Marshall Mathers is like, hey, man, where's that grande soft taco I ordered? Marshall, are you full? <laughs> yeah, what's up? Oh, fuck. <laughs> my headphones fall out. You top off my Baja Blast, please. <laughs> Jay Norton. Yeah, I'm going to get go one of those. To... Oh, real talk. Oh, here you go. Real talk. Oh, oh, that didn't sound, make the sound I hope. Sounded sexy. Oh, my, is my thing oh. too loud? I'll mute it if it is. That's okay. Nope, that's no, no, fine. Like I said, I don't want well, to noise in here. See, so Billy backs me up. I'm not completely crazy. So what kind of hot dog are you eating there? It's a cheese dog. Ooh, hot with dog? Ballpark, uh... Ballpark, buns. okay. Okay. Well, I don't know if the the it might be Oscar Mayer cheese dogs, but ballpark bun. All right, I approve of both brands. You may eat. Thank you. <laughs> yes, oh, I like a Nathan's. I like a uh... mm. Nathan's is my go-to. What's the one? I can't think of the word. Um, kosher, kosher pride or something like that. Yeah. Yeah, those are good. Most of the hot dogs, except if you get eight for a dollar, stay away because you'll find like an eyeball. Ew. No, no, no. You you don't want to really go cheap. You can those buy a pack of hot dogs for a dollar if you want. Cheap bacon you can do. Cheap hot dogs, never, ever. I'm pretty picky. But the Hebrew National, is that the kosher one? <laughs> Hebrew National, that's it, yeah. Yeah, those are really good. That's probably that like one of the Jewish? Well, no shit. Jewish people? Either. I don't know. I don't know what. I mean, beef. Beef. I would imagine beef. Beef. Do I look like I'm Jewish? Yeah. They, they say you look like you're you're Hispanic. Someone in the comments. What? Is there a Hispanic woman? Hispanic washing dishes behind somebody. Oh, Mister Clean. I had no idea Little Caesars has a cow zone now. Calzone is one of my personal favorites, so I will definitely have to try that. Oh, that it's Little Caesar is stuffed no. crust. So good. Is it actually good? It actually is. I've tried it. Better than uh, the Huts? Ooh, I don't know. It's close, man. I think the Huts the best, man. It's stuffed crust. You guys are going to want to punch me in the face, but I honestly, we don't. I don't like stuffed crust. Wow. It sounds yeah, better than it actually tastes to me. If it's a grocery store stuff, crust, it makes me want to off myself. Yeah, even Pizza like, Hut, though, and I love Pizza Hut. If it's done right, it's pretty damn good. I mean, it's, you know, cheese stick on the end of your pizza, basically. <clears throat> yeah. yeah. But my, uh, microwave stuff for that is usually me. Oh, yeah, I know. Oh, man. Sounds good to me, Billy. <laughs> I'm Bring excited to watch this movie. 
I haven't seen this movie in a long time. It's been a few years for me, too. Um, this is one I saw in the theater, and I didn't really like it very much. I saw it, and I loved it in the theater. But it came out on Blu-ray. It was relatively <laughs> cheap. What? You may want to mute that just while you're doing the scrubbing. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, that's cool. It, it was fine before it got a little loud. Um, I'm right in between you, you and Orc Jay. <laughs> I, uh, <laughs> I saw it in theater as well, and I didn't love it, and I didn't hate it. Have you seen that it since? Right. I don't think I have, and if I have, it was once. See, that's what I was gonna say. This one has really grown on me. Like I've I've watched it probably at least ten times since, and and I like it more every time. Wow, it's it's such an interesting concept to me. I know it's based on a graphic novel. I've I've got it over here somewhere. Maybe I can find it. Yeah, Steve Niles. It's a good it's a good graphic novel too. It's brutal. I love it. But it's such a cool concept. Um, there was a frostbite i think uh maybe a norwegian uh horror film that had a kind of a similar concept yeah with the same you know having the long nights extra long nights uh yeah. which that's a really good film too yeah. barristos that's that's a legit thing this wasn't something they made up for the movie i mean it is i guess an entire month of darkness out there yeah. i just like it's, it's like a vampire is like dream right <clears throat> It was it was fun. I remember enjoying it at the time, and yeah, I thought it was a cool concept. Like I saw it in the Universal City Walk Amphitheater, or uh, not Amphitheater, but their theater there. That's cool. But uh, yeah, I like it a lot. I'm, you know, Josh Hartnett is kind of hit and miss with me. I like a lot of stuff he's done, but he can also be kind of annoying as that leading man guy, but. I don't know. He's not. He's not too overly annoying in this. I don't think. I don't think he's bad. I think he's one of those dudes. I mean, he's like forty-five now, and he still looks like you know he's sixteen. Yeah. So it's just. I, but he's not a bad actor. I don't feel like he gives bad performances. It, it was good on Penny Dreadful, which I I really like. Um, I was trying to find. Is you remember his like his haircut in like H two O and. Uh, <laughs> What's the Rodriguez movie he did? The uh, faculty. The faculty, yeah, faculty. faculty. It looks like a child like cut his hair. Like it's all just it's just chopped up, man. It's not a haircut. It's it's weird. Did it looks- uh, yeah, it is weird. Have you ever looked at the police audio of him uh, calling for an ambulance because he had diarrhea? No. <laughs> oh, it's fun. I'll Google it. It's so fuck. It's hilarious. We, I we gotta hear it. that. I'm about to play it. Uh, I'm sure just Josh Hartnett diarrhea will bring it up, but uh, let's see. Uh, my Google searches are quite strange. Yeah, that's that takes you right there, though. Uh-huh. <laughs> Is it the TMZ? Oh, well, there's some denial videos, too. I'm trying to find the actual 911 okay. call. Well, let's see. Yeah, Ben Grimm. The sequel sucks. I've seen it once. I'm never going to watch it ever again. I didn't care for it either. You couldn't pay me to watch that shit. So bad. I like disturbing behavior quite a bit. I mean, uh, God damn it, the faculty get those two mixed up all the time. That's one that's kind of forgotten now. I love it. I like both. Yeah, I know Works a big fan of that one. Switch into uh, my computer now. Is there a new student here? Where are you from? Georgia. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, did you ever watch a show on on Showtime called Dead Like Me? Yeah, yeah, I did. That's the girl from that from that show, the 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 blonde southern girl in the faculty. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I remember that and uh, Six Feet Under. 
It's a really good show that aired kind of around the same time. I actually haven't seen Six Feet Under, but I was such a fan of you know Michael C. Hall that I've been meaning to go back and watch it. Uh, it it's pretty heavy. I mean, there's some dark comedy, obviously, but it's a uh, it's a good show. It's got its moments. I've seen a couple seasons. Yeah, so, I keep uh, finding denial videos, but it's there somewhere. Maybe I'm just not <laughs> searching right. Uh, was it the commentary from last week? The species one that had to be cut down? Yeah. Uh, I don't mind. mind. Elijah Wood. Elijah Wood, yeah. I've enjoyed him since we, you know, we he was a kid actor. The whole cast and the faculty is amazing. Yeah. That's like the only Rodriguez movie I have not seen. Really? What? Oh, yeah. oh, you're killing me. You're I killing me. Man. And I will. Robert Patrick? Oh, yeah. All this I, other shit people are telling you to watch, you don't need to see it. Watch Faculty. There you go. Who's the, uh, the woman from, um, ah, she plays, uh, Jean Grey. Uh, Martha Famka Jans. That's it. Yeah, that's I was it. trying to pronounce Zena it. Zena on the top. I'm your teacher. <laughs> and you got Clea Duvall. Uh, yeah, I forgot about that. A couple others you'll definitely recognize, and I can't think of their names right now. But they were, they had a string of Stoma popular movies. John Stewart. Oh, one of John Stewart's best roles of all time. Oh, better than Daily Show. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I I concur. So, Jess, let me ask you a question. Oh, um, Christ. No, no, it's nothing bad. Uh, so I was I was listening to some uh, something uh, recently. They were talking about in, in your neck of the woods uh, that wrestling is really popular. I, it can be. Yeah. Did, did Did you guys ever do any of that, like in high school or anything? Oh, like actual wrestling, not right, right. Fake wrestling. I mean, you know, <laughs> Sorry, it's all Dan. real to me. Uh, n- n- I did a year when I was in like sixth grade, uh, but only because my older brother was into high school wrestling. But I never got like fully into it. But yeah, it is big. I mean, I was just year by Dan Gable. Because it's that's not a thing here at all. Like I've, I, I don't really know anyone. I don't know any schools that even offer it. Yeah. Wow. So it's it's, it's kind of strange. I know it's like big, like Arizona State. I know is really big. They're a big big wrestling team. Where a lot of UFC guys come out of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, compared to that, yeah, it's pretty big here. But wait, what? Did I say Arizona State? That's what I meant to say. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you okay. did. Yeah, I figured just through the South in general, it would be pretty big. You would think, man, but I mean, not I mean, not not here. So I don't know. Maybe other states. I mean, I'm sure people like in Texas, they probably offer it. Some of the big schools there, but Texas is big football country too. Well, I mean, football all around is. It's mm-hmm. definitely football country here as well. It was just kind of weird, you know, I was talking with um, Jonathan and some of the other folks from Kentucky, how football is not really big there at all. It's all basketball, you know, but, you know, go to Tennessee, it's, the you know, the opposite, you know. It's kind of interesting how it works like that. Sorry, I didn't mean to bring the mood down. Oh, it's okay. No, it got me thinking about. WWE Sports just signed that uh, Olympian. Gable Stevenson. <clears throat> Not that anybody cares about WWE anymore, but <laughs> but they did. <laughs> well, when Jay first asked me that question, I was thinking of like the local, the smaller circuits of like WWE type stuff. Mm-hmm. And your opening, Corey seems to think that's like from like our around our home area. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Billy, you you uh, Wisconsin? Is that right? Or, uh, I think you mentioned Wisconsin. 
sometime. That's, that's cool, though. Used to know where everybody was from, and then I fucking forgot. Nice. Nice, Billy. I was not aware of that. Um, well, cool. You guys want to start this thing? We can kind of bullshit some more. I got some stuff to show off also. All right. Let me get this thing pulled up. <clears throat> And for those of you watching, if you'd like to watch along with us, this is streaming on Amazon Prime. <clears throat> and and other places too, I think, but at least there. Starts with some stupid prime commercial. Considering how much money Amazon has out of all the streaming services, I feel like I watch less on Prime than anything else in terms of like original stuff. <clears throat> it's just not enough I watch. If you look around on there, there used to be a lot of like really, really obscure horror. I mean, they were obscure at one time, horror stuff that I could never find anywhere. So, that, yeah, that the, was... there's like a library of movies, but original content. I don't know. Maybe oh, I'm yeah. just not into what they're doing, but you know. <clears throat> this is the. Columbia logo. That's where I'm at. Cool. I guess everybody get to the Columbia logo. Columbia Tristar. And I did just look it up. For those of you who don't have a DVD or don't have Amazon Prime, if you absolutely have nothing else, you can go to Pluto, I think, and it's free. And Pluto. I think every movie we've done on here has been on Pluto. <laughs> It's free. It's gonna. You're not gonna be able to stay in sync because because of commercials. But if you got nothing else, why not? What's your timing on the on Amazon? I'm at 21 seconds. Oh, so skip. Okay. So, okay. Yeah, it's got a bunch of junk at the beginning. I've got mine paused. Do you have it paused right on the TriStar? I do. Well, I, let me let mine go then. It, mine's right, like when it's coming up. Okay. I, so right before it starts playing, pause it. Or the Columbia lady, right? Yeah. All right, 22 seconds. 22. I paused right. it right on the lady holding the the thing. <laughs> well, shit. Okay, let me go a few more yeah, seconds me, then. <laughs> I've got it on my TV. Right, so so it's it. all Amazon. It should be the same. I heard 20, in frame. I'm in 27 seconds. Why don't we just do an Amazon watch party for those of us who are on Amazon? So we can't show it on YouTube. Yeah. What that's do you mean? Problem. No, you can. St you don't have to do it through YouTube. Like, I we know, but I couldn't just... stream it. What do you mean? No, I you mean... don't have to stream it. It's like when I did it that one time, where it just keeps us all in sync. But YouTube doesn't care about your gay cowboy pudding movies. They don't no, punish they, you for that. I don't know what you're... <laughs> yeah, I think you guys are confused as to how it works. Like, you don't have to have it connected to YouTube. No, you don't have to, but I mean, hmm. otherwise this wouldn't be like a recorded video on my channel, right? What? What do you mean? Oh, you're actually going to show the movie on YouTube right now? Is that what you're saying you're doing? <laughs> I can't ever tell if you're fucking with me. No, I can't tell if you're fucking with me. Because you know Amazon Watch Party, if you have Amazon, you just send me an invite. And right. then it syncs us all up. But how would it How would it be on YouTube right now if we did that? What do you mean on YouTube? We're live right now. Yeah. No, it, it, if you're watching it on Amazon, 
you do it through So you Amazon. mean we all just open up another tab and we do a watch party? No, you know how you guys have a tab open and you have Amazon open and you're watching the movie? Right? Uh, yeah, let's 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 uh let's table that discussion. I've got Oh it my god, we've done this before, shit. Jay. <laughs> we've done it together. <laughs> Not Sync up the movies to yeah. right as the Columbia lady is coming oh. in that that fanfare logo. And it's you always complicated. Say. Look, I'll I'll set it up for you guys. I'll send you an invite. <laughs> if you're already on Amazon, all you gotta do is in or accept the link. Hold on, let me. I'm I'm gonna watch Come it on. like this because it's on my TV. No, I know that's how you do it. You do it through the Amazon Prime. I don't really have any desire to do that. Yeah, I don't think you can watch it on the TV. No, that's you, the problem. I you guys, uh, whatever. You guys have no clue. I know what no, you're we, talking we've about. We've literally man. done this before. I don't know if I don't it's really on your channel or mine. All right. Are we, are we counting down? Thanks for watching, guys. Okay. <laughs> I'm confused. <laughs> it's a yeah. long ass movie, Larry. Can we start this? <sighs> Look, I'll send you guys right. the link. You got some so, long ass let's balls. Let's count down here. All right. Oh, wait, where are we starting now? <laughs> All right, what do you, what <laughs> do you guys see? Long balls. She's holding the <laughs> torch, right? That's I don't know. At. Just how you long ball it. Jay's acting like he seconds. doesn't know what I'm talking about, but he knows. The thing with that, though, Hayden, is you have to watch it on the computer. Yeah, so, you guys all said you, know. you were doing that. I'm watching no, it on television. Yeah, mm. like I'm staring. That's why I actually. Well, if you have Amazon there. Prime on Fire Stick or. Do not encourage whatever, a ghost. <laughs> I don't know. Do you guys in the chat know what I'm talking about? I know what you're talking yeah. about. It's just if you want to watch on the TV, that. It'll still work. Is. Time goes down. Dan, you have know. a TV in front of you? Yeah. Yeah, that's why I moved in here. So when I do these commentaries, I can. Oh, I can that's why it changed. Okay, your background. I was like, why the fuck did he move? Oh, well, yeah, look at the we wall at? of autographs behind him. Yeah, it was Are like... we right when she shows her titties? <laughs> yep. It's just showing her torch right I don't now. know. I'll show you guys the Amazon watch party another time. But it's really cool and easy. All right. So okay, right, I don't want right to pass out the during this. All right, Jay, count us down. All right. Three, Wait, two. Wait, we right, what time stamp are we at? 27 seconds. Okay, cool. <laughs> An hour later. This is getting more. We should just start at zero. That'd be so much easier. It's got all the crap in the beginning of it, though. That, like it's yeah, not on another start, version. If we're all on Amazon, it doesn't matter. Dan's not on Amazon. And not uh, everybody that's it, watching would be I'm starting on, Amazon. You got to start on, when the movie starts. I'm on the logo, though. It doesn't right matter. There. All right, here we go. Three, two, one, play. There we go. So no no sound, right, zombie? Yeah, that would Columbia be a big no-no. I swear we've done an Amazon party. I think it was for Climax. Party, party, party. Party of five. Look oh, into man. it. Amazon watch parties is a really cool thing. You can even do it from your TV. Dark Horse had some underrated stuff. Do you work for Amazon, Hayden? <laughs> God damn it. I you are doing this on purpose to piss me off. They give him kickbacks. We've all done this before. <laughs> no, you did for Climax. I have not. I've done it with Twitch streamers, but not on one of these. Sexual things with Twitch streamers? No, live streams, like watching signs and shit like that. Oh, my I mistake. I forgot Ben yeah. Foster. Oh, I love Ben Foster. I like how you meme Jess. He's great in this, too. Yeah. He's on uh, Six Feet Under, too. Oh, really? This movie's like three fucking hours. Holy shit. I know. It's a, I think that's maybe what keeps me from going back to it all the time is it's long for a horror film. I didn't realize it was so long. Sorry about that. It's still a great concept, and I remember thinking it was all right, having a good time at the theater with it.
Is it Melissa George? Yeah. Okay. She was a, a thing for a little while now. I mean, mm -hmm. she still works, but never became huge. She was on Alias, and uh, she had that yeah. movie, The Triangle. And she, had, she had quite a few things going for a little while. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm actually a big fan of uh, Pandora with Ben Foster. It's yeah, that's a great one. That's one I need to watch again. Nobody went to. I was like the only person that saw that in a theater for some reason. Is that is that right? I'm not even sure, Ben. I'm not a Wonder Years guy. I don't think so, though. With the yeah, Pandorum is like an unofficial sequel to Event Horizon, right? Isn't that what they say? Uh, no, I don't think so. No, uh, but well, shit. <laughs> I don't think it takes place in the same universe or anything. Someone told me that I didn't. I didn't. I didn't know. That would actually be cool because that's an, another film I actually like. A lot of people shit on Event Horizon for some reason, but who who does? There's a lot. I need I need <laughs> names right now. I've never seen it. I need addresses. <laughs> Let me see your papers. Whoa! Is that The Rock? No. Yes. Wait, what? It really looks like him. That is the rock. It is. That's right. He had. Uh, Wait, actually, he looks more like Roman Reigns, but I was just gonna roll with him being the rock. You know what? I I smell what he's cooking. <laughs> the rock now. If he didn't hit it big. Yeah. What's up, Jamie? I think Jamie may have been the one that told me that. Or just, you know, in concept, basically. Hey, Zombie oh. A, Jamie. What's up, Jamie? Hello. Yeah, I, it, it could be. I don't think it's official, but hey, I'd like it to be because I like both movies. I saw it in the theater and I just wasn't. I was, like, really tired. I think I slept through quite a bit of it. So I, I need to go back and rewatch it all. Mm -hmm. Who is that guy? The guy with facial hair. He looks like The Rock. I can't tell who it is. There's another you know good. Dan? I'm not sure. They get a better shot of him without the hat on. Yeah. Um, there's another Ben Foster movie called Galveston. I watched during the pandemic with the uh, think L fanning that was uh, pretty good pretty gritty little drama thriller what movie Galveston oh Galveston. I've heard of that oh. I think it's Manu Bennett it's the guy on screen yeah for oh from Spartacus yeah Oh, yeah, he plays Trixus. I knew he looked familiar. Any any guy that gets to bang Xena Warrior pr Princess, oh, yeah. uh, you know, it's cool <laughs> by role, me. Roll of a lifetime. Oh, man. What else has he been in? I need to... Check some of his work out. Ooh, Melissa. What do you think, Hayden? I like it. <laughs> She's pretty clothed she... up, though. Does it's she have a British accent? Nice smile. I don't think so. She could have short hair under the hat, though, Aiden. Oh, it's God, no. Gamble. Don't do this to me, Dan. <sighs> Dude, I would sorry. love a month with no sun. I need to move out there.
You're pale enough as it is, dude. You'd come out looking like ginger powder at the end of that 30 days. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> now, the month of sunlight would get annoying. Or is it really only a month? Yeah. I thought it was like a few months. What? No. And then the rest of the year is normal. Oh, John Wick. <laughs> yeah, one of Ben Foster's early movies was called Bang Bang, You're Dead. All about mm. like uh, bullying in school. And he, I think he brings a gun to school or, or something. Something that would never get made now. Yeah. <laughs> it was like, you know, kind of before some of that stuff. Mark uh, Boone there. <clears throat> They're actually releasing uh, that Columbine movie on uh, Blu-ray, uh, Duck, the Carbine Massacre. Uh, not Vinegar Syndrome, but one of their sub-labels is putting that out. I don't know, this is an obscure movie, but uh, does, do any of you remember Trippin'? Trippin'? It, it was coming out, like, right before Columbine. Theatrical film, but it had, like, a school shooting sequence that was played for laughs. And it got... Uh -oh. <laughs> Needless to say, it kind of fucked it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's like that movie Elephant. No, oh, yeah. You've ever seen that? <laughs> yeah, that, that's, that's, that's a dark one. It doesn't show it, I don't think. So I think that's kind of how they get away with it. It's uh, Gus Van Sant. Mm -hmm. I'm a big fan of his. I've actually never driven in the snow. Really? Oh, shit. No. <sighs> scared me not this kind of snow i haven't driven in oh yeah no, yeah definitely <laughs> not this yeah i have work has white yeah, knuckle you has. can't see two feet in front of you on the road you can't see the sides of the roads and you got ditches and it's fun it's like star wars you're seeing the snow coming at you through the windshield too if you want to go <laughs> anywhere you have to shovel for like three hours it's awesome yeah that's awesome yeah, you're right shame, you know? <laughs> don't fuck up your back oh, i don't want it to, i don't want it to come this year that sounds yeah. like fun to me no it's the... it's fucking not you're like oh i gotta get to the store to get something and then you're like shoveling for like multiple hours the secret is you live in an apartment complex where they do that shit for you. Well, yeah, if you live in the city, but then you don't get as much snow, though. Oh. Because there's snow plows everywhere. And I also have no clue because I don't live in that area. We're lucky if we ever get snow. <laughs> you weren't we lucky live. recently. We, well, yeah, that... <laughs> And that wasn't even, like, that bad. It was just a lot at once for, like, a few days and screwed everything up. <clears throat> I know when Ryo got his snowblower, he was, like, so excited. <laughs> like, Fuck yeah. so he lives in Florida, right? Yeah. yeah. Yep. He just likes to spend money for no reason. <laughs> <laughs> Snake blower. <laughs> I kill I kill crocs with this thing. <laughs> I can't remember. Are there actual zombies in this? Or is it just a bunch of drunk people? Hmm. Gay dwarves. <laughs> with rabies. Isn't I just ruined the huh? twist, so the what? Same Gay again. dwarves with rabies. Oh, oh my god, Aiden! Uh -huh. What? <laughs> I 
I thought the twist was everyone was just drunk. <laughs> and they like to kill dogs, I guess. In Alaska, I don't think that's a twist. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Do -do -do Mikey, what's up? What's up, Mikey? Wait. Oh, I'm sorry, Jess is out of here. Yeah, that's what I've heard too, zombie. With a big strap on. <laughs> if it has pins on it, I'm all yeah. for it. Fuck yeah. No, I, Jamie, I've seen this movie. This has been a long time. I have and, a DVD uh, ready to go. But it's on Amazon. Nice. In Hellbound Heart, though... Pinhead is, like, described as effeminate, you know, not really a gender, plus is not. Hello! What's up? I think it's 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 such an appropriate time to do that. Why not just go hard into it, you know? Yeah. I mean, if so, you're going to do something different, if you're going to redo Hellraiser, do something crazy like that. Should mm -hmm. have Tilda Swinton play. Uh... Hey, she'd do a great job. <laughs> yeah. Like I said, if you read Hellbound Heart, I mean, the movie's different from the novel so did you see that movie with her in it uh had i can't think of the name it had the really good cinematography oh suspiria 2018 <laughs> you know she played like five roles in that <laughs> what part are you on guys are you looking at the girl looking out the window <laughs> You should just rename that the worst commentary on YouTube and just run with it. It's not a bad idea. <laughs> I actually wanted to be there for that one, too. It's, I mean, kind of hurts me to say it, but I kind of like that movie. One movie? Which one? Suspiria. I, I did think it was all right, but I do like the original slightly better. Sure, sure. What, Suspiria? Yeah. 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 Well, you didn't miss much if you're talking about my commentary. <laughs> no, after when watching it, yeah, I was glad I didn't end up being there. But like Jay, I thought, oh, that would have been a fun one to be a part of before maybe, it happened. Yeah, maybe we'll do a redo. <laughs> I don't know. I don't even really want to sit through that movie again. <laughs> I, I like it, but not that much. <laughs> the remake, though, that is a good idea. <laughs> the redemption. I'll do the, the original because I've never seen the original. Yeah. And that'll be a better time. Uh, ben mentioned that video game. Kruger has been playing that like the last three days, I think. Uh, yeah, yeah, I think that's it. I assume that's... I, I could never get into it. it. It's, yeah, it's, it's full of horror characters you can get, the DLCs. Oh. Mm -hmm. Like... Uh, you know, Leatherface. Uh, yeah, fuck, they're all probably in there by now. Michael Myers. They got Krug from Last House on the left. That'd be fun. It's been so long, I don't even remember who lives and dies in this, so. I don't remember that either, but I do know the the story to a degree. These, I mean, the, these machines are really cool to me. Mm -hmm. I'd like put a fridge in there or something huge. <laughs> Thank you. I don't want your life. Uh-huh. Yeah, and, and spoiler alert, uh, most people die in this movie. So, yeah, I know it's a high body right. count. Yeah. 
It's really not super duper long, but I still thought it could have been like 15 minutes shorter. I agree. I mean, if you're willing to trade, you know, a little exposition. Yeah. We got established that they used to be dating and they're not anymore. And yeah, fuck yeah. that. You know, all this bullshit. Yeah, I, I agree, but I mean, sometimes it's necessary. Sometimes. Yeah. yeah. Not really in this case. Yeah. They could just like grunt and they have sex. <laughs> they have sex and it's just <laughs> vampires killing each other. Yeah. Just she left him because he called the cops because of diarrhea and humiliated her. And that's why, you know. Oh, yeah. I forgot she posted that. I'm going to bring that up. <laughs> For some reason, maybe TMZ owns it because they make you like go there to look at it. It's weird. Oh, fuck it. I'm not going to play it then. No. I'm a little fucking shell shock from YouTube right now. Yeah. <laughs> well, this guy definitely dies. <laughs> hey. Hey, buddy. <laughs> hey, who do you think you are? Whoa. Wouldn't that be a hell of a, a twist if he just pulled out a gun and just starts wasting them all? Yeah. <laughs> He's like a legit badass. Somebody knew. <laughs> this burst in the cop's office. It's like, I killed some fucking vampires covered in blood. <laughs> oh, zombie. That's a good question. Eyes wide shut. Nice family going gremlins. movie. Gremlins all day. Been a lot oh, of yeah, a lot of gremlins hate in the community lately uh, that I'm not going to tolerate. <laughs> what? Who said that? I love gremlins. I actually can watch gremlins. As, it, I don't necessarily think it's a Christmas movie. or has to be. Yeah, I could watch it while fucking. Yeah, well, okay, yeah. <laughs> I, I could too, good. I guess. Yeah. <laughs> Set the mood, you know. Um, I creatures. watch Christmas movies over Christmas. Um, yeah. one yeah. that's every year, no matter what, is Jack Frost. I love. <laughs> I just have to. If but, Shannon but, Elizabeth's not getting uh, plowed by that snowman, it's not Christmas yet. Oh, okay, not the Michael Keaton one. No, no. I like that one. <laughs> yes, Jamie's with me over there, with the eyes wide shut. Best Christmas movie ever. Oh no. Have you for seen Hayden? Eastern Promises? Oh, yeah. Yeah. No, I mean, I know you probably have. Hey, Hayden, have you seen Eastern Promises? No, I haven't. You probably like that one a lot. What's that about? Uh, mafia. Old mafia stuff. But that's uh, Tom Vigo. Hanks. Oh, no, I'm I sorry. Tom Hanks. Vigo Mortensen. I'm, I'm getting that confused with something else. Yeah, that's uh, Cronenberg, oh. right? Mm hmm. I'm thinking of uh, Road to Perdition, I think. Think for Hayden, it's not uh, Christmas until he sees Nicole Kidman's Snatch. So yeah. we know we know exactly. all the traditions now. You never yeah. get to see her Snatch in that movie, or did I miss something? I, I don't I'll know. have to Mr. Skin it, but I'm pretty sure you see everything. I don't know. I, I think some... they, like, slightly, you know, they use those angles where... You don't exactly see it. Yeah, I think I would remember something like that with Nicole. But you get to see everything else, and that's pretty good. I with slowed him, that like... movie down in a lot of spots. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Thoroughly. <laughs> There's a great scene right at the beginning. Oh, they start you out with some some good stuff. Let me tell you, man, Nicole Kidman is... Oh, yeah. Class act, man. She Still is. is. I like her. Mm -hmm. Great actress, too. <laughs> yeah. Not you... just I'm being curious. All right, I'm looking at her vagina from uh, Eyes Wide Shut. You see it oh, in the really? mirror. Oh, hold on. Oh, I mean, Can I pull this lips. Up, Do I see some lips? I, oh, no. I mean, they don't, like, zoom Are in. Are you just talking about some pubes? Dan, I would say I believe you, but I'm going to have to need a link. Like, yeah, I agree. 
Google Nicole Kidman's vagina eyes wide shut. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm at the library. Huh? Yeah, but huh. it's kind of Doesn't one of those matter. like hidden in the bush sort of situations. Well, you still see it. I mean, yeah. it's, it's not a porno, Hayden. It's not like spread eagle or anything. No, that's what I want to see. If yeah, you're going to start what we're all, we're all looking for. Dude, what a <laughs> nice I mean, ass. I appreciate it. Oh, man. <laughs> You don't have to be a vampire to bite that, for sure. I'll be gentle. <laughs> <coughs> All right. Well, yep. Well, anyways, guys, I'm more of the traditional Christmas movie. You know, It's a Wonderful Life, Miracle on 34th Street. Uh, no tits for you. Well, not over. Well, over Christmas, not not many. I might watch some Silent Night, Deadly Night towards the beginning of December, man. Once I'm in Christmas mode. Mm -hmm. For at least a couple weeks. It depends, man. Like, not this past Christmas, but the one before, I was, like, not in the mood. I was like, fuck it all. I don't want to do Christmas this year. I was just not, I was not in a good place. But I think a lot of people, yeah, that year. This is depressing, man. Yeah, I get into it. Uh, I got to go uh, National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. It's my, oh, my all-time always. favorite. Yeah, I love all of them. <laughs> Their movies. But yes, Christmas Vacation is definitely a yearly watch. I I can't say it's yearly, but do you guys watch uh, the Beavis and Butthead Christmas special? It's actually... <laughs> It's actually pretty funny. <laughs> Not yearly, but yes, I have watched it multiple <laughs> times, and I do enjoy it. I think my, my favorite gag in that was when they're watching Ebenezer Screw. <laughs> 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 Bob Snatch It. And <laughs> <laughs> yeah, wasn't that one? Didn't, didn't they have their own little twist on It's a Wonderful Life? Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> they were trying to show... Uh, uh, butthead, I believe, how better the world would be if he were dead. Yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty cool. Ooh, Julian Davis. I'm on a. Yeah, a lot of chicks dig that movie. I've never really gotten it. I've never really been into it either. What? Ooh. What movie? It's not a yearly watch for me. I like it, but. Ooh. Jamie, you'll have to come on my Eyes Wide Shut commentary. I might save that for Christmas. Though. You need to do a Kubrick marathon, all of his films, <laughs> until he dropped dead. Ah, Kubrick's hit or miss with me. Oh, man. Yeah, kind of with me, too. Like the I started to not even tell you, Hayden, but Thursday night, what? they're doing a 4K screening of uh, Clockwork, Clockwork Orange. Orange. Yeah. yeah. If I wasn't working... Yeah, I figured you'd Ma probably work. Malcolm McPudding is going to be there. And he's going to do like a Q&A. McDowell? Duval? <laughs> <laughs> what a, yeah, Malcolm McDuval. Donald Pleasance is going to be there. Donald Pleasance is going to be there. <laughs> Live from the grave. <laughs> is he is he making an appearance at the convention? Yep, yeah. He's going to be at the cool. screening, too, though. He's going to have, a, like, questions after the, the screening. Yeah. <laughs> but that's at the Texas Theater. Yeah. Cost I've never extra. been there. It looks cool. I don't know how they made him look so sickly. He did a good job, though. Mm-hmm. Is she gonna get naked or like what's going on? No. I'm waiting. Maybe after they figure out what's going on. Yeah. <laughs> you gotta teach that kid what a woman's body looks like eventually. <laughs> Just gotta Google Nicole Kidman's vagina and eyes wide shut. <laughs> He's good. I think I'm falling more in Jess's 
uh, camp. I don't think we get a quite good view of it, but I guess you get more than the average viewing experience. No, I mean, she did it proper, and she did it proper in a couple movies. Yeah. You know, she she did give me what I could ask for, you know, from the moment I fell in love in Batman Forever. Oh, man, that (laughs) overdosing hooker. Well, she teased us into Die For. Oh, yeah. Yes. Well, that Odie oh. Hooker is probably the nope. sexiest naked woman in a movie ever. Who is that? Play- who? I don't know what her name is. Cody Look Rhodes. What the- <laughs> <But> just- <laughs> Look what that vagina did to Val Kilmer, though. Jess, you got to be careful. Oh, shit, yeah. Oh, wow, you know, that's acting. With her and I, it would be real. <laughs> Let's see. Odie Hooker, eyes wide shut. She like with Tim McGraw now. No. <laughs> Keith Urban. Keith, Yo, yeah. it was, you know, one of those dudes with a hat, cowboy hat. Didn't she get out of Scientology? <clears throat> yeah, I mean, I'm, uh, I'm thankful she's with him er, than uh, old Tommy boy. Tommy. <laughs> Eyes wide shut was just a normal Tuesday night for her. <laughs> for... <laughs> yeah, I'm, uh, I'm surprised she hasn't said anything about it. Have this uh, sacred tattoo of death. Uh, probably keeping her quiet with money. Got children. Probably sign an NDA. Oh, shit. Probably just want to keep her family safe. Yeah. She wants little Surrey to be all right. Did I say that? That's wrong, child. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, shit. She's dead. Hey, where, 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 are you, where are you on to Katie already? <laughs> it's parkour of amps are tough. Yeah. Pardon me, Holmes. It really starts jumping off here. What what time are you guys at? I think I fucked my shit up. Twenty nine thirty seven. Oh no, I'm right on. Cool. On incognito mode over here. I'm not seeing it, Dan. Seeing what? Uh, the Nicole Kidman. Oh no, it should be. I mean, if you Google exactly what I hold on. Are you still looking for the snatch? Yeah. I mean, I see the mirror shot, but yeah, I didn't say it's it's not like a close up. I mean, Uh, oh okay, I see it here. Ah, gotcha. Oh, that's not bad. Christ, give me a minute. <laughs> Maybe even three. So we need is... to put that on a shirt now. <laughs> Do it, zombie. <laughs> Sorry, zombie. I'm tuned out. Got your species hat, Hayden. Oh, yeah. Mine's still stuck in the mail, though. I ordered one. Chewing on a turd before they shot this? <laughs> oh my god. It's been a while since I've seen Ashton Kutcher in anything. 
He's really just doing investing now. That acorn shit. You know what? I signed up and they said it was going to be free and then they charged me a dollar each month until I realized it canceled. Dude was on the front end of Uber, so I'm sure he made quite a penny off of that. Still is. Yeah, he doesn't have to play a sheriff in these movies anymore. And, uh... But, uh, fun fact, he's got dirty-ass kids. He doesn't bathe his children. What? <laughs> really? No, I don't believe in it. <laughs> I would buy it, Jamie. But oh, if I ever come right. out with a photo book, you gotta buy it. Yeah, totally, Jamie. But hell yeah, I'll support that. It's just going to be, like, for, if you do one, Hayden, it's just going to be your dick, like, every, every <laughs> Like a real tasteful. <laughs> It'll just be dick pics. Just black and white dick pics. Nobody wants to see that. Masturbating in the Whataburger bathroom. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> but, I, mean, I don't understand Corey's comment. If you don't shave your head... All your hair will be coming out of the holes in that hat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I get it. It's a hat you have to shave your head for, I guess. It almost looks like crochet material. I wonder how far you have to go out of that town before it's daylight. Oh. At this point, I don't really mind that. They're crossing aliens and species. That's cool. Go for it. Uh, yeah, at this point, it's been a while for both of those franchises. Come on, let's do it. Let's throw Predator in there. Yeah. Let's do it. I just got lost in a string of Nicole Kidman photos on a Google search. <laughs> oh, dude. <laughs> I never even made it to the photo I was going to look for. <laughs> Did you finish? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> no. It's all about the half chub. <laughs> of course they didn't. You familiar? <laughs> Cucked by the vampires. Happens. Yes. I would have shot him. Who? Oh. Considering what's going on, I probably would have already shot him. Like I wouldn't even have handcuffed him. Yeah, you don't want to risk having that guy around. I mean... Or use him as bait, maybe. I don't know. Yeah, it's a good idea. What's up, Nick? How's it going? So Judaism's really a race, huh? Jewish is a race. Judaism is the religion. Oh, so they're two different things. Well, when you say Jewish, it means both. It couldn't. It could mean both. Oh. Or or either. Is that Rebecca Baker Hall? That's Chris Kattan. Tom Arnold. Have you guys seen The Night House? 
Yeah. That is what everybody should see right now. Uh, it's... Yeah, that and Demonic. Demonic's a piece of shit. But, what? Uh, you didn't like it? You, you, you watched it? Demonic? No, I, haven't see, I haven't seen it. I heard. I haven't heard I wanna, anything It looks about really it. good. I don't okay. know how it could not be good. Uh, you'll find out if you watch it. I will eventually if I can find out where. It's showing here. I'll watch it. I got to just to just to see it for myself. I love the night house. So. Yeah, the night house. It was really interesting. Did you ever watch Don't Breathe too? Oh, not yet. It's a lot of fun. I mean, you have to. <laughs> there's a lot of conveniences, but it, it's a fun movie. I just thought it was hilarious how they went so far out of their way to make those people like the worst people ever in well, every yeah. way, you know. And what? Uh, and don't breathe too. I don't want to spoil. Oh, it. really? So like, just, the old guy's not the villain. They kind of switch it up a little bit in this one. Yeah. After He'd the like first woman, I don't know how you could justify all that shit that he did. He's like an antihero. Uh. Oh, uh, they they address it. I mean, I mean, this one's basically an action film, but I had a good time with it. He just wanted his daughter back, I guess. There's more to it. I love how savage they are. And brutal. Yeah. That uh, I think her name's Megan Branich, I believe. She started, out of this movie, she started doing, like, a shit ton of conventions for a while. She was, like, at everything. <laughs> hey, Nick. <laughs> Nick's like, what's shaking, dudes? And then Jamie's like, there's a lady present, Nick. <laughs> I've been talking about vaginas for a half hour. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. Oh, happy anniversary, Jamie. Forgot you said that was... Happy it. anniversary. Yeah. Happy anniversary, Jamie. I think, it's a great uh, shot here, too. You're a little late on the gift if it was today. Just I saying. My record's like six <laughs> months, so... I'm just that's, that's impressive. I love this overhead. Look at all the blood everywhere. Oh, this is, this is cool. It's Ashton Kutcher again. I've got a question for everybody here. Uh, Demi Moore or Myla Kunis at any point? At any point. Myla Kunis. Yeah, me too. Oh, in Prime, though? Ah, Demi Moore all the way for me. Demi. Uh, Jimmy Moore, I spit on your grave. Days. <laughs> well, know. if you want to go to jail, I, mean, <laughs> I guess. I know you would think of that first, Andre. Huh, <laughs> I did stare I at that know. cover quite a bit. <laughs> hey, I'm not the, I'm not the beat up that took that picture. So. <laughs> G.I. Jane, Demi Moore. Ball Janice. Jimmy Moore, right? Janice. No, no. That's how you like her. <clears throat> no, we don't talk about Suck that. Suck my dick. <laughs> we, don't, we don't talk about short hair, Jimmy Moore. We got, uh, let's see, we got one. Hey, one for Jimmy. You, you would bust on her bald head if you had a oh, chance. Gross. You, Dude, you if she was going on you, man. That body. You. I don't care if she's bald. That body, goddamn. And we got. But when a girl shaves her Mila. head. Her vagina like blows out like a couple inches, and it turns into a hallway. It's true. <laughs> and then as the hair grows out, it's like it tightens. You know what I mean? Hmm. It's really weird. 
But that's that's the secret. Bruce Why Willis or Ashton hair. Kutcher? Bruce Willis or Ashley Kutcher? You could bust on his bald head too, Hayden. Bruce Willis. I'd have to do Bruce Willis just for the story. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he's a. Are we talking about fucking them? Yeah. Or <laughs> being in a hood? <laughs> I'm like a casual dude. <laughs> yeah. Well, then Ashton Kutcher, What'd you think? maybe. I, I mean, know. no gay shit, obviously, but. You know. <laughs> I'd choose both. <laughs> yeah. I'd choose yeah, one Ashley vote for Kutcher. Kutcher. In that case. I'd just be like, oh, Bruce, man, I love Die Hard so much. Moonlighting was the best. I'm on top on this. I was, I was at least like, I was going to say, at least like, it looks like you're doing the pushing. So. Yeah, I'm on top. <sighs> man, what was it like when you stepped on all that class? Oh! I mean, like, Ashley Kutcher <laughs> is just I'm like scared. classically attractive. Bruce Willis. It's like if you're a dyke or a boxer, maybe. Ashley Kutcher looks like fucking Michael Phelps, man. <laughs> looks like a looks fucking like freakazoid. Go do some underwear ads. Piece of shit. <laughs> hey, that was some good money. Even Jordan did underwear ads. Yeah. I, I want to do a... I want to do a milk ad. Oh, yeah, me yeah, too, so. man. They don't do yeah. those anymore, do they? No, they don't. Well, they no, show. Print media is dead, so. Somebody complained that it was too sexual. and Really? Yeah, because I guess white stuff on your face. They didn't like it. It's not sexual at all. It's like, come <laughs> on. We should start our own Got Milk ads, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I'm down. Got to talk Marie into that. There's nothing, nothing left to look forward to in my life. <laughs> Let's do it. We can get her to do a milk mustache. That would that would make my day. <laughs> <clears throat> my dear. I'll give you a milk mustache. Yeah. Oh. All right, Jamie chooses Kutcher. Uh, uh, will you ever be watching The Butterfly Effect, Jay? Uh, dude, I actually like that movie. I know it's stupid, but no, it's not, dude. Butterfly Effect is awesome. I like I don't that remember movie. Man. Completely hating it. Oh man, I just like how he keeps getting more and more fucked up as it goes on. <laughs> He's like, I'm gonna go try to save this person. He winds up with like, you know, I don't want to spoil it for anybody. The mailbox explodes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just go in the attic. Like, they're not up there, obviously. Oh, you might want to shoot that guy. He doesn't look trustworthy. To kind of be me in this situation, I feel I'd just be, like, killing random people. Just, like, no. <laughs> I just, I think you're going to, I think you're going to crack. I'm just preemptive here. Ben just deal. takes I'm his really... whip, goes up to the attic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Forget the vampires. We got BLM here. <laughs> Is that a dollhouse in the back of the room? No. Yeah, it's from Hereditary. It really feels like it. God, that <laughs> stupid kid's not dead yet. You like those freckles, Hayden, or what? Yeah. I do. Yeah? You talking about Mark Boone? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> He's always got the fucking ridiculous hair in every single movie. Like, no director ever Just, asked him to cut yeah. it. It's How did like, you wake up? There it is. We got it. <laughs> Skip he walks out of his trailer with a cigar in his Just mouth. <laughs> Skip hair and makeup today. Just, you know, we don't care. And now they sit here for half an hour. Is that the 13 reasons why I committed suicide, kid? Nobody makes me want to commit suicide. I was about to say. Just kidding. <laughs> Set that one where he decides he's not going to fuck for like 30 days or something. 
Wait, what? Vague. Josh Hartnett, I thought that's what you were referencing. The TV show? No, it wasn't. It, it was like a movie in the late 90s. Oh, I'm talking about... <sighs> I don't know what that kid's name is. But I hate him. Let me see. That's uh, 1-800-273-8255, guys. Uh, suicide is not a joke. 1-800-273-8255. Oh, yeah, I didn't, mean it's it's not. A, I didn't mean to imply that. It's a joke. It's, it's a good the name of the song. show. 13 Reasons Why I Committed Suicide. That's what the show's about. 40 days What's, and 40 nights, that's what it is. What's this oh, there you go. I remember thinking, like, really, 40 days? I mean, I don't know. I feel like you had to make that a little longer to make that <laughs> interesting. <laughs> I don't think he could jerk off, though, either, so that would be hard. Oh, Dylan Minette or something. I'm not. I've never seen that show. I don't like sure. that kid. I what watched like she... half of the first season, and said, "Screw it." What a shitty place to live when you're that fucking old. Yeah. I forgot, this movie actually does have quite a few really cool moments. Yeah. There's a good Nick Nolte movie called Affliction that I think really captures the the cold really well. Um, uh, really a, a sad movie, too. That it's all about him and his father's relationship and stuff. And <laughs> he's divorced and his, his kid hates him. It keeps fucking up. He's like a drunk. But good movie, though. Nick Nolte basically playing himself. I like Nick Nolte in Blue Chips. Oh, it's been a while. A great movie. It's, it's, it's one you forget about, and then you're like, oh, yeah, I liked it. I've never forgotten about that one. I love it. I, I Shaq, mean, I, he just throws Shaq the bag, Shaq, and he's yeah. just like, "Fucking Shaq at that at that age, yeah. unstoppable, a beast on both sides." Yeah, he's like Shaq. Yeah. yeah, I watched him when he played with, uh, with LSU. Oh, what? Wow. Really? Not live, but yeah, just on television. Oh, I thought you meant you were like watching him before he even made it to the NBA. It, he was though. Yeah, he's I mean, done. Yeah, not, he's not not in person. How old were you oh, during that still, time? Damn. Oh man, like 10, 11. Yeah, he must like have been that. really young. Yeah, because I was a big Magic's fan. You know when he when he joined Orlando. Magic. Yeah, yeah. And then uh, I, I quit being a Shaq fan when he went to L.A. Shaq just got to go where the where the money. Hey, is. I don't blame him. I'm not cheering for that team though. I'll cheer for the Clippers. You know I won't cheer for the Clippers, and. I used to think the Lakers were all right, but I, I grew out of that when I lived there. I was a fan of the Lakers when they had Magic. Yeah. See, I was a big Magic Johnson fan. Mm -hmm. Almost more than Michael Jordan at one time, but... Yeah. That was the finals, that or the, the championship game, was 
Bulls Lakers, wasn't it? I think the first one, right? One of them. One of the big ones. I remember being in a hotel room watching that final game. Oh, shit. Might have been a couple. Two of them. This guy is scary as hell. What the fuck? Got a bunch of coke nails. <laughs> Dude, I didn't know Dave Batista was in this. <laughs> but goddamn. And again. Oh, never mind. Who is this guy? Danny Houston? He is no. in a I lot. Hate, I know, <clears throat> I hate him. I just can't he, stand him. He's a great character actor. He always plays a preacher. I thought that's, I don't know why. that's Jake Gyllenhaal. <laughs> a preacher. He does. He was in like several movies in a row where he was like some preacher. It was weird. No God. Nope. Tell me if you know someone that needs Jesus. Lord. Lord. I feel like if you're going to be here for 30 days, like, wouldn't you kind of want to save some of these people? <laughs> That's what they're trying, Jay. Like, let's not, let's not eat them all on the first night. <laughs> oh, you mean the, from the zombie's perspective? Right. Oh, yeah. Vampires. Vampires. Oh, vampires. They're fucking oh. vampires. Werewolves. Oh. <laughs> Did they ever show how it started? Not Christ. really. It was Ashton Kutcher's fault. That chick is pretty hot. The vampire chick? Yeah. Which one? Well, she she was in Dark Days, right? The second one. Yeah, I think she did both. Like, I, I mean, she did like a hundred different conventions for quite a while after this. I haven't seen her recently, but yeah, the notorious Shaq Fu zombie. I know you're kind of fucked in that situation, but I mean, throw some punches. I mean, at least go out fighting. Yeah. Totally. Been trying to find a break in the in the uh, action here to take a a break and grab something, but it's like nonstop, nonstop action. We had. Uh... Some spinach ravioli that was delicious before this. Oh. Mm. Sounds good. <clears throat> okay, Popeye. That was fucking good. I <laughs> got <laughs> <laughs> Oh. <laughs> In ravioli form, you don't get the biceps, though. <laughs> Any kind of ravioli is delicious. Oh, so good. Chocolate ravioli. Yep. You guys remember that? I think it was Little Caesars that had chocolate ravioli. Yeah. Um, somebody else. No, maybe it was Little Caesars. Let me double check that. I only had it like twice. But... All right. Here's a real talk question. Meat or cheese ravioli? Question. I'm going to go up first on this one. I'm going to go cheese. I'm going to go cheese, too, and this is coming from a meat and potatoes guy. Like, you know, cheese. I'm a cheeseburger, dude. Cheese. What What if we do a cheese with a meat sauce on top? Yeah, oh, and yeah. I knew you were going to go there. I like, oh. like, a fettuccine sauce yeah. half the time. Well, it can be dinner really, tomorrow. Fuck. Anybody had, like, a pink sauce over the ravioli? A pink you ever had a pink sauce? sauce? Yeah. You mean like uh, vodka type sauce? Or? No, and I can't find it. There was a place called Monte Carlo out in Burbank, and they had this pink sauce. And what I think it was basically was some sort of mixture of the red sauce and the, the fettuccine sauce. Oh, okay. Oh, it, okay. It was delicious over some cheese ravioli. Oh man. Hmm. I think I'm gonna have to go meat, honestly. Out of all the sauces that are like mass produced, what's your favorite? Mun's Prego. 
30 yeah. Days of Night commentary with it's pasta. Svetna Molle. That's my favorite. Which one is? Svetna Molle. I like when you have to work for a decapitation like that. Yeah. Too many movies. I mean, it just doesn't quite. Realistic. Yeah. There's a tomato sauce called Rao's, R-A-O. It's really good. Um, like a, you know, just store-bought tomato sauce. Huh. My family usually does homemade, but I'd, I'd probably go Prego over Ragu, though. Yeah. I don't like a chunky sauce, so which whether ever one of those two that has probably a thinner. Ragu, probably. Pretty good. You guys remember the commercials, man? They went at each other hard. Those yeah. two companies. Yeah. There's some video on YouTube that has like a bunch of '96, like 1996 commercials, and it's like a half an hour. Mm-hmm. All these different things. Yeah. It's it's amazing the the stuff we're nostalgic nostalgic for. Like the stuff we hated at the time. It's like, oh, I remember that. <laughs> guys yeah. like tartar sauce at all? Ew. No. I think no, it's uh, totally overrated. I'd re- uh, I, I eat mayonnaise on my fish instead. Ew. It, no. y- there is good tartar sauce and there's really bad tartar sauce. Yeah. It, it depends. about cocktail sauce? Ooh. If I'm eating shrimp cocktail. Someone talking about cocktail? I don't mind it, but I'll usually do something else over that. Only seafood that's good. Lobster and a pound of butter. Bam. I do. I do enjoy lobster and butter. Oh, oh dude. Ooh, Demi yeah. Moore like, destroyed her face. What the yeah. fuck? Have you guys seen this? Crab legs and butter? That's what bags are for. You guys like like snow crab? Yes. yes. I honestly crab, haven't had really. too much crab, and I'm sure I'd enjoy it. Oh, crab is amazing. Yes, I have crabs. <laughs> I mean, good, like, fresh crab. Right. Oh, sorry. I mean, I love things, you know, crab rangoon, but I think half the time it's imitation crab. Yeah, I'm sure it is, yeah. <laughs> I like seafood. I like pretty much all seafood. Fish. I love all kinds of fish. Yeah. Yeah. What photo are you looking at, Hayden? Demi Moore still looks great. Yeah, you know, I'll I'll share it. It looks pretty bad. I think she's yeah she's. I don't know what she did, but it's not looking good. She got uh, older. <laughs> no, this is this is something different. Let me guess, she cut her hair. No. <laughs> Here, Jay, what happened to her face? <laughs> she went to the barber. <laughs> Just it looks airbrushed. Like yeah, it does look airbrushed. Yeah, it's airbrushed, but like no, any... Like, you, you guys don't see those like... Well, shit, now it's fucking up. About to get copyrighted. Oh, is that Morgan Freeman? Viagra. That's yeah. Ben. Uh, that's Uncle Ben. <laughs> ben Graham, Uncle Ben. <laughs> oh, from the rice. Yeah. No, she, she definitely formally done. from the rice box. Stupid. His cousin and your mama. What is it called now? Who? Uh, Uncle Ben. Kanye Rice. rice. Oh, fucking, I like Aunt Jemima too. Has she, she canceled yet? I think it's kind of rude to cancel a person of color. That's I think me. she's canceled. I think Mrs. Butterworth is still around, though. Because, like, come on. They suffered enough. Like. I think Mrs. <laughs> Butterworth is technically <laughs> Caucasian. Dan, you're, like, thinking about you're it like, all. <laughs> but it's... But she's, it's the syrup that makes the tan skin. I mean, I don't, I don't care. I mean, this is... Hey, Google. Call me ignorant, but I, I I respected these characters. I know, like and Jemima, I didn't, and Jemima, they're... Every time I went, to exactly, Joel, exactly. Every time I went to True Maine's house, he'd whip out the Aunt Jemima. 
It was an oh. ant I loved. What, what the hell? I was, okay, pancakes or waffles. Like, oh, man. Oh, she whipped me up some, some soul food. I can't wait. It depends. Yeah. If we're going like a thick Belgian waffle, I got to go waffles. You used to fill up the bottle, Hayden. When For you were a good a buttermilk kid. pancake. <laughs> Filling the titties and your mama's titties. <laughs> oh, yeah. I, th- I think I've had more bad pancakes than bad waffles before. I so. agree. Even the good old Ego is pretty good. I love butter. food and vampires. Commentary. Tell you who has good waffles. I mean, a good pancakes is Cracker Barrel. <laughs> Do they actually Best have pancakes? pancakes? I yeah, have. I'm serious. Is that a breakfast only item? No, all day. No, it wasn't. Oh, dude. Like I mean, French toast, pancakes, French waffles. Toast. Best pancakes. I hope. For a white guy, I don't go to Cracker Barrel much. I think IHOP is overrated. Don't get me wrong, I'll eat an IHOP with you. Like I go bottomless. Over IHOP. Thank you, Jess. Yeah. I go Denny's over IHOP. And both of those, honestly. Ew, Denny's over IHOP. Let's go to a, just a good, no. at least clean oh. diner. Just doesn't have to be a... Bad. It's it's all about management. It's what I tell people when they say, oh, my, what, whatever sucks, you know. It's all the management, you know. Yeah. yeah. It's like it I've, 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 I've been to great of both, but... That's true. Here, my IHOP sucks, so I don't go to it. Yeah, mine sucks pretty bad, too, though. Waffle House. I like Waffle House. You get a good pancake. International good House of Ponage. Waffle House is fine, but I'll tell you if you want to. Huh, I, I think it's the most robbed franchise out there. I, I, I know so many really? crazy. <laughs> Waffle House is like where pro wrestlers stop at the end of shows without fail. And yeah. uh, I've seen some cool. shit. They uh they they bust them over from the women's prison. Yeah, <laughs> all the employees. Do we have any waffles upstairs? <laughs> I think Jess I has his whole three meals. You've got to have. If you don't have <laughs> egos, I'm leaving. I'll be right back. Okay. <sighs> I'm gonna go get something to show Jess up in a minute. How about chocolate chip egos? Come on. Oh, man. I've never had oh. a chocolate chip ego. Oh my god! Really? Man, if the store was still open. You guys go uh, toaster strudel or pop tart? Oh, oh my Pop-Tart. god. Um, strudel because you can do like breakfast sandwiches inside. Yeah, bacon, egg, and cheese, sausage, egg, and cheese. Yeah, Hayden, you need to do grocery stop shopping streams where you go around and you like go down in the aisles like you did yeah. that one time. Man. Schedule that in. shit a day before. Yeah. I'll try. I need to go to the store. Shopping with Hayden, volume one. Yeah. <laughs> Where everyone just tries to get me to hit on chicks. Dude, I, I was thinking about just having a GoPro strapped to me for like all of Frightmare. And just go back, edit some footage together. That'd be cool. Do it. I've got a couple GoPros I can bring. I've got a head strap. I do too, but I'm not wearing it. I'm not. I'm not anything with that. I dare you to do that. Anything with I can't. (laughs) I'm gonna wear those those cross earrings and a head strap. (laughs) So the. Gearing up montage. Should have had a, some 80s music going, make it a full like training montage. He's got asthma. <laughs> That's foreshadowing. Alright, dude, quit. You're just getting Oreos. Go get guns and stuff. <laughs> the Please. Eye of the yeah. Vampire. Delete. Browse it up. Da, 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 uh-huh. da. I don't know the words. Mark Boone is just planning to steal all those fucking Oreos uh-huh. and make a run for it. Dude, I don't know if I would trust Mark <laughs> Boone, to be honest. He just seems a little dirty. <laughs> he's like, oh. he gets out, and he's like, there's more people in there, and he just runs with <laughs> a bunch of Oreos. Oh. Like, uh, He's just a baby. 
<laughs> God damn Let it. Go I, don't, I, go. I don't have like any of this sweet stuff. I'd go this grab guy. something. I would too. I might go to Waterburger after this. Live stream? I don't know. <laughs> you don't know? You gotta live stream it. Do it, do it. I don't want to yeah, do a live stream just to go to Waterburger. What do you mean? You're a live streamer. Are you mad? Are you mad? I am your daughter. Oh! Oh, shit. You know, I, I think I have officially figured out that YouTube does not count live streams as actual videos like you know how they want you to like the the channels that stay consistent with uploads they don't count streams as uploads to promote your channel yeah. so if you never like have a proper upload consistently like every week they'll just start demoting your channel and you'll start losing subscribers and shit cuz that's been happening for me, as soon as I stop posting actual videos uh, and you switch shouldn't, over to streaming, you shouldn't if, lose subscribers. Well, it's been pretty like stagnant. I haven't really been losing, but it's slowed down a lot. And uh, ever since I switched to mostly streaming content, which is, I think it's kind of fucked up. It's like they should value that just as much, you know. But. I think it's a lose-lose unless you're 20,000 plus subs. Well, I mean, when I was posting consistently, I did notice, you know, a gradual, like, 30 sub subs a month at least. And then as soon as I stopped doing normal uploads. You're that's... doing other gun threat. That's the problem. Maybe that's <laughs> it. <laughs> I don't know, what you need is a comeback Whataburger stream, and then your all your viewers will come back. A Whataburger comeback stream? Yeah. Well, that's what I'm saying. I need to do less streaming and more uploading. I need to just do live streams, but then do both. Ed edit those and upload. Oh, and -upload it's an ego. So. Oh, let me let me see that just with yeah, some dude. real real maple syrup. None of that. Oh, yeah. Corn syrup, Mrs. Is it, Butterworth. It better be grade A, or it's not real. It's, to do it. it's, it's real. Ooh, it's the yeah. good stuff. They have so many of those farms by me. I can just fucking steal that shit. Mm. Authentic. Oh, Dan just went to go get something. <laughs> you made Dan hungry. <laughs> you make. <laughs> you know. You know. In Canada, they don't fuck around with that. Like maple syrup, it's like a. It's a whole organization they have for it. Like they take it all and they put the barrels in factories, and they sl they slowly release it out, so that the, the, the supply is not 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 flooded. And uh, there was yeah. a, a show called Dirty Money that uh, I think it's on Netflix. It's all about someone who found a way to like steal a bunch of that and sell it on the black market, and just like the barrels are full of water or something, and they didn't know it for the longest time. Huh. I mean, they made like hundreds of thousands of dollars selling maple syrup. <laughs> sorry, I thought it was interesting. No, <laughs> yeah, I think it is too. What do you mean, sorry? No, that's awesome. What's it called again? I'm gonna. I, I know I've heard of it, but I have to. Dirty money. Up. Oh yeah, that's a good show in general, but I think it's on Netflix, or at least was on Netflix. There's a million things that have money after it. Money heist, dirty money. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's working too. A lot of people have switched from Twitch, haven't they? Or uh, from YouTube. Twitch to YouTube. Oh, people uh, are really uh, switching, changing oh, their really? tune. Yeah, well, huh. Twitch is just like they're kind <laughs> of failing miserably. Really? Is this like a recent thing? Well, it's like Twitch is kind of going to shit. Like, like if you if you have YouTube Premium, you can like 
get everything you need on YouTube and music. You know, like if you have the YouTube app and the YouTube music app, you're you're good to go. Twitch, you have to literally sub five bucks to everyone if you want it to be ad free. Oh man, yeah. So if you like, let's say ten channels, they could be a big part of their stream. Like you're watching like us right now, and they can run eight minutes of ads. It's the most fucking annoying thing in the world. Oh yeah. Huh. People say like Twitch is better for live streaming, but that's not necessarily the case. People are getting a lot of money coming back to YouTube. A guy named Tim the Tapman, he came back and he plays with Dr. Disrespect and he got a big contract. Hmm. Cause I kind of felt like I was missing out by not streaming to Twitch. I'm streaming to Twitch right now. But they're they're both good, but um and Jay you were already you're right, it was Dirty Money season one. The maple syrup ice, yeah. Yeah, check that out. Oh, somebody's growing some weed. As they tend to do in Alaska. <laughs> They're both good, you just have to be consistent. Yeah. On Twitch, it's harder to get noticed, though. Because, like, a lot of times you'll have no viewers or one viewer. Well, I'm not going to monetize my videos, so I don't really care. I just do this for fun. I don't, I don't expect to ever make this in anything, so. It's all for the love of uh, Nicole Kidman's vagina. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. What did you grab, Dan? Nothing, because I didn't have anything. <laughs> snacks, right? Oh, you went to go check. <laughs> I got, I, I got a waffles. bottle of water. <laughs> yeah, I got a bottle of water. Uh, yeah, I had waffles, but no syrup, so. Yeah. Would anyone here been Jennifer Lawrence over? Yeah. It's not high on my list, but I wouldn't say no. I just, a video came up in the sidebar. <laughs> Is that like a poll on Facebook or something? What? No, I just... Do you just yes. do that every day when you're at work? Just be like, I would bend her over and just fuck the shit out of her. I, what, to my I fellow can guarantee employees? you he does. Yeah. No, no, like in your mind. Like literally every girl you see. Oh, not like every Like some girl. like fat girl like walks by. Like some fat <laughs> chick. <laughs> yup, like, that too. She, <laughs> she's girl, in the, like she. I just want to bring you home and feed you stuff for us. <laughs> I'm so glad I brought up that topic. <laughs> I, like I got Jennifer a mental Lawrence, picture, though. too. Hayden feeding. Uh, Jennifer like, like Lawrence is so sexy as fuck. Yeah. Right. <laughs> and they're both eating and it's stretching <laughs> out. <laughs> Oh my god. It's that you got, you got sauce on your fingers and you're just letting her lick it off. You're just like, mm. Snorting mozzarella off her ass. <laughs> it's, a, it's a big string. It's all the way through. It's like a COVID test. It's oh like my a god. Slap hey. a thigh and the, ride the wave in. Woo. Drum Doms has texted me. He won't What's he up to? Here, Dan. Here's to being healthy. He wants on the stream, but he says you blocked him. I have not blocked him. Oh. Should Cheers. I send him the link? Yeah, go for it. Alright. I wasn't sure how the community out there feels about him after the whole, you know. Oh, he, he Urban, Urban Gate. Aiden, you're on the show. It doesn't really matter. Go on now. <laughs> True. Oh. I'm as urban as it gets, motherfucker. Well, Fuck that's yeah. Not what I think they that's were. I was he meant. Oh. Aiden, have you seen Urban Legends? 
Oh goodness! I sakes. actually have not. <laughs> oh god! Really? Oh, you gotta check it out. I, I mean, that was like late '90s. Movie, one though. of the best of the '90s. I, I, I would get that special edition if I wasn't broke as fuck. Mm-hmm. I'll I'll check it out. Is it? No, you won't. Anyway? But thanks for yeah, will, saying come that. On. Oh. I, I check out new movies all the time. Bear traps. <laughs> I keep getting kicked out of my HBO Max bad. though. Even though I'm you know what I dug that you made, uh, Hayden, is your your watch list per month. Oh, good kill. Huh? The watch, watch in July. Oh, yeah. There's several good kills here. Wait, say that again. When you do your monthly watch list videos, where you say what you watch per month. Yeah. Which I don't know if I'll be doing any more of those, because I had to like edit that video like five <laughs> times and re-upload it. So many hours. <laughs> before YouTube would actually let me have it posted, because they certain studios don't like if you post trailer clips. I don't get that. You're you're promoting their movie. I don't get it at all. I, mean, I might do it just like where I talk about it and I don't show any clips, but I feel like that's kind of less interesting. I mean, Mike, uh, B Movie Mike got he used to get copyright strike or uh, claims for pictures, like picture like movie posters. Oh, like, what? He doesn't even have video. It's just a poster of the movie and him talking over it and They didn't ridiculous. like that. No, that's no, why he that's got pissed so at YouTube and he said, fuck it. Dude, and Big Movie Mike's such a great guy, though. I don't know how... YouTube's just stupid, man. Yeah. Going I don't up. know. Maybe that's forward. why they don't promote my shit. Because I'm always talking shit about him. <laughs> that's the Probably only Probably doesn't reason. help. <laughs> <laughs> nah, they don't give a shit about you unless you're making money for them so yeah i like i like to think that kula pd is probably like a huge fan of you who <laughs> local oh. cops <laughs> <laughs> what about tuki buki are you ever gonna watch that on here jay yeah after uh losing franklin <laughs> we're gonna do a double feature we're gonna do losing franklin and then finding franklin <laughs> yeah because it started as a show and then they made the movie Finding Franklin as like oh, this, the premiere like end of the show movie right yeah where they finally found well, him I guess it's when he transformed from being an actual puppet to a real boy oh. that's when he got found he still has a hand up his ass but <laughs> nah. refresh my memory it was the whole point of the show was that Franklin was the dad and then his dad abandoned the family and turned his mom into a crack whore I thought and Franklin was the, was the thing, puppet right? I thought the, it's was a it? white guy but he's got a black puppet with an yeah afro. but the puppet's named after the father so I think it was like Frank you may be Frank right. Was the, yeah. Frank was the dad. Frank Frank and Frank yeah, yeah. Makes sense. Yeah. I think that was it. Yeah, and then... <laughs> I can't believe they aired that on Nick at Night. They have crack whores on Nick at Night now? Yeah. Late, late. Late, <laughs> late. late. <laughs> this is like... Never, never after, saw that episode of After the fifth night. rerun of uh, Prince of Bel-Air. The urban prince of Bel Air. <laughs> so, so urban. You know, since since that all happened, I've heard so many people use that term. Not not talking about the, that movie, but yeah, to to mean that, right? Like really? I'm so urban, dog. You know, like, like who the hell? Well, the only I've I don't know. I I've only heard that like in the comedy scene, being described as like an urban crowd. But even then, I think it's mostly black people that are allowed to use it. I don't know. It's a real estate term yeah. too. Yeah. I mean, that's that's you, what I thought. Yeah. Do you live that too? Rural or urban? urban. The world is confusing. <laughs> I don't know. Like Carl Urban. Again, urban legends. Yeah, it's all full <sighs> circle. Look, I haven't seen the new Candyman, but as, if it is about like Project Eight housing or whatever. 
It's not. Oh, it's not? It's not about, like, ghetto I mean, housing or anything? It's not really important to the plot, but, I mean, that's that, the whole thing is they've been uh, gentrification, which I don't really like that term, but apparently they've taken a lot of the whole project. Did you basically. say gingerfication? That's, yeah. <laughs> and uh, sure. built, like, you know, swanky uh, condos or... You know, the people in the movie were talking about it, but they're guilty of it, just like everyone. You you have one. You're living in one. So. Oh, really? They're living in one of the a nice apartments? Yeah. Yeah. I'd be mad if a bunch of gingers moved into my neighborhood, too. Oh, man. <laughs> Not on my watch, brother. Get out of here. It's just my beard, and it's a dark red. It's actually like a... Oh, now he admits it. Yeah. It's a maroon. Oh, it's so a you maroon. don't have a soul. <laughs> and my my hair is ginger. blonde. You're it's more ginger dirt, than... It's a dirty blonde brown. That is not... Than carrot top, Hayden, I mean... No, I'm not like that. <laughs> you are the next carrot top. You need to start taking a bunch of Roy's uh -huh. and then, like, fight him on yeah. pay-per-view. Oh man, that would be great. Red versus red. <laughs> just start suit. stealing his props yeah. on your channel. A uh, suitcase just... full of his stupid props. <laughs> uh. it's, like, it's, a, it's a big pair of sunglasses. This is goofy. <laughs> Believe it or not, I saw <laughs> I saw Carrot Top live when I was a teenager. Oh man, he he kills at Vegas still. He. He's people actually love pretty funny. I don't know why people give him so much shit. He's I, funny or alive. People see him on these like daytime say, shows where he can't do anything funny. Just I thought he was funny. Like him. I've seen, yeah. Hell yeah. I, I haven't seen him live, so I, I don't. I haven't seen him live, live, but I mean, I his old older shit when I was, I guess I was a kid too, so I don't know that probably helped. But I've always thought he was funny. Yeah. He Other had comedians a, yeah. I've heard have said he's a super nice guy though. So yeah, he he did a tickle me Elmo gag where it gets a boner and starts ejaculating. It was pretty funny. Oh wow, it's like mm. stupid humor, but you know, probably not as funny now. But it was. I mean, I was uh, probably like twelve or thirteen. Yeah. Now this part of the movie gets really dark. Day 27. I just don't understand the logic behind this. If anyone's going to kill him, it's going to be me. Would you say this movie is urban? Yeah. Like, like Keith Urban? No, this is mean, rural. Mean streets of Alaska. <laughs> I don't know. What's the difference? Urban and rural. City. And City and country, yeah. basically country yeah urban. So, or at least yeah, yeah. Well, what about urban and suburban it's suburban like the, the outskirts yeah. of a city but still not country i guess not rural oh. smaller mm -hmm. cities yeah Next you to can... a larger city it would be and suburban it's just like black people Based on what I learned from the oh, drum that dums. That has nothing to do with color, skin, or race. I don't know. Or... That's why drum dums got in trouble, though. Yeah. I don't even know if he got in trouble, but he almost like got himself into trouble by apologizing for it, I, I don't, guess. I don't know. I don't know. People. He killed a hooker, and I've he just said been, he's sorry. And I've just been good. wondering. I don't even know what happened. He probably wishes he killed goes, a hooker at this point. <laughs> No matter what you say, you're going to offend somebody, I guess, these days. They just... Yeah. And no matter what you say to you or apologize or say that's not your personality, nobody's going to believe you if you say the wrong word. So Sorry, like The other day I said, well, I don't even think I should repeat it. Don't. No, because <laughs> it's probably wrong. That means don't. If, if, Aiden has, if you hesitate yourself, <laughs> it's pretty I'll just say, that's a I'll good say idea it. not to say it. You were there. <laughs> I wasn't no, going to say this. I forgot. What did you uh, say? Oh, man. Now you're making me want to say He's going to, like, deny the Holocaust. What was or it? Something. 
Oh. Hey, no, no, George no. Bush doesn't I, care I can't about say black it. people. I'll, Please do. No, I forgot. What'd you say? I'll, I'll do it in the private chat. Yeah, please. No, don't. It's got a trap here. You remember that? Maryland yeah, I remember that. It's not like I got in trouble for it, but it was one of those things where I said it, and I could just tell the reaction. Was... He's denying the Holocaust in the private <laughs> chat. Michael <laughs> Kenneth Williams, dude. Who? Michael Kenneth Williams. Look, you say Omar. some some random dude with a scar on his face it's dies, not random, though. and the whole He's world a... goes crazy. Pretty accomplished actor. I bet drum dumps killed him personally, but... So Michael K. White? Williams. Oh, uh, Williams. Michael J. White. Well, I'll be the judge of this. I thought the drum dums were uh, uh, joining us tonight. Not now. He played a character named Chalky White? Yeah. Boardwalk Empire. Got, uh, that sounds a little racist if I ever did see them. We got He's uh, on Lovecraft Country, too. They're forcing a black man... A black man who has suffered slavery and all this other shit to Watch be called the show. Chalky he's, White. He's a, he's a mafia guy, too. I don't know if you guys know this. Every black person alive today has gone through slavery. You owe me money, nigga. Jesus. I want my money. Jesus. Bring a little stupid ass on. Yeah. <laughs> Hello. Mikey. Hello. What's up? Hey. Hello. I was going to gonna ask you the other day. <laughs> that video clip that you played where it had the uh, the um, the special people when she threw that bowling ball and it hit right for the gutter. I want that to be my entrance, dude. I want that to be. We'll do. That, that is. We'll do. Cla dude, I laugh. What got me What got me the most is when Orc laughs. Dude, I was dying. His, his little fucking high-pitched laugh. He did a little giggle. That shit has me rolling, dude. See, and I had to cut most of that out, too, so. Dude, that shit was so funny. The, the oh, whole so sex swing the shit. thing and everything yeah. was fucking great, dude. <laughs> they had the I rails up. So and just, hard. boom, slamming into the fucking rail. Like, that thing's going three, <laughs> three rows down from you. I laughed so hard. That shit was so funny. <sighs> That's why we play the game. Oh, bigger. I thought you said something else. No, I was asking about the, the 4Ks you. that came out. Summers. I know you said Clockwork Orange was coming out, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I think, did the thing already come out? Because there was a suggested video that a guy showed it. I guess it's Tuesday, yeah, right? So Tuesday it came out, but if it's if you're ordering on what Amazon, it's like a wait list pretty wait, much. Clockwork Orange? Another thing. Oh, the thing. I'm waiting for Clockwork Orange and Eyes Wide Shut better get a 4K. I'm waiting. Um. No 4K for you. No 4K? No fucking for you. I need to watch Lost in Translation. Is that worth ten bucks? It's, it's been a ten while. Ten bucks? Eh. For a Blu-ray? No, I need to stop buying Blu-rays. Why do you all of a sudden need to stop? Because I can barely pay my rent. Oh. Yeah, how could you? How could you do it before? You were buying like five hundred dollars worth of fucking. Well, I, well, I just went <laughs> on a week vacation, so that's a week's worth of money. Oh, okay. And then I'm okay. about. I, I'm taking this whole three day weekend off for Frightmare and spending money on that. Start man whoring. That's the solution. Yeah, that's it. When I don't do anything fun besides buy Blu-rays, I can afford it. Who do you want to meet at uh, Frightmare? Nobody. 
It's all too expensive. Jay. <laughs> <laughs> I want to go take a if shit. If I didn't have to pay eighty-five fucking dollars for it, I would love to meet Corey Taylor. But oh, that would be awesome. I'm not. I'm not paying eighty-five dollars for that shit. I don't care. You I'll gotta I can get listen, a. I can, I can listen to him for free on Amazon. I would yeah. get a vinyl signed by him. That'd be cool. At least your hobbies are cheap. You know, I always. Oh, every time I want to do something, it's always it cost me a shitload of money all the time. <laughs> well, like, what is, cheap, what cheap. I'm sorry, about? cheap-ish, depending on how far you go with it. Because I've seen Christian Hannah Horror stuff, and I've seen Dan stuff. I'm pretty sure a lot of that shit in there wasn't cheap. Yeah, I'm I'm more into just buying the cheap, shitty Blu-rays. Yeah. Than the designer packages and shit, or whatever. But as far as like you know DVDs and stuff like that and Blu-rays and stuff, it's a it's not a you know overly expensive. Like I got into buying cologne and I bought like thirty oh, or forty expensive. bottles. Holy shit, dude! Yeah, yeah. Dude, I I need to buy more cologne. I'm almost out, but I like barely even use it because it's I don't want to spend another like fifty bucks at least. Hell bottle. yeah. And that, then I got on the cigar kick, and that that could get expensive real quick. <laughs> oh yeah, tell me about it. I'm oh, like, man, yeah. it'd be cheaper if I just did cocaine. For real. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm I'm trying to be more picky on what Blu-rays I buy. You know, like I'm only gonna buy it if it's a movie. I either really love and I know I'm gonna watch it if I buy it like again or a movie I've never seen that has a whole bunch of high praise but the price is also really low you know that sort yeah. of thing yeah I'm, I'm okay. the same way like I'm a I'm a big big like um, I love back to the future I, I just <laughs> like it I love the movies and I still ain't bought them on 4k yet I still ain't bought Indiana Jones either <laughs> Hmm. That's a that's a. Those look good, but the packaging. I don't, I don't need them, know. man. I've got the the oh, blue is Talking about packaging. Oh, Ethel. <laughs> Ethel, would you bend Jennifer Lawrence over? Would you bend me over, <laughs> Daniel Shine? You bastard. <laughs> <laughs> I'd bend you over. I guess if nobody else here wants to. It's gonna cost <laughs> you eighty five dollars for Hayden, though. Eighty-five dollars. Is he yeah. gonna pay me that? Wait, who's paying who? If you want him up in your flower flaps, you gotta pay him eighty-five dollars. Yeah. <laughs> flower flaps. <laughs> well, then you'll shine the office still on the table. <laughs> I'd rub my flower flaps all over that bristly, salty beard. <laughs> 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 Jay the Stingray, it's me, long time listener, snake and second time caller. What's up, baby? Oh, baby. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. The voice of an angel. Oh, thank you, sweetie. Oh, Christ. He's whipping it out right now. I just wanted to drop by and say hi. You guys enjoy a little monster movie. No, wait up. Hold on a second. Hey, I Ethel. love you, Ethel. <laughs> Ethel, you live in Hollywood? Honey, I live on the East Coast. Nice, Jay. You guys see that? Oh. Yeah, that's cool artwork. Yeah. It's very nice. Terrible movie. Make a, make a fan film about it. Terrible movie. Christ. Code Red put that out on DVD. Unprompto unboxing. I've uh, gotten bitten by the poster bug thanks to Christian Hannah Horror. So. Whoop, whoop. Oh, yeah. So, sometime soon, hopefully. Now it's been pushed back to October. This is this portfolio that I bought that uh, I want to display on my poster. So, whoop, whoop. Let's see what I have. Hopefully that will be coming sometime soon. 
Whoop, whoop. Hell yeah. Hey, Orc, you gonna try to get some of that uh, flaming hot Dr. Pepper from, uh, you. from, steak, from steak sauce? <laughs> Gross. Uh, no, no, I'm good. <sighs> I don't see how he drank that shit. That shit looked like straight lava. Like, coming out of the fucking can. I was like, oh, no. It did kind of look like it had some chunks in it. Dude, yeah. it was like, when he made the video, I was like, oh, that looks, that's gonna be bad. That, oh. that shit would exit my body so quick. Yeah. Yeah, if you guys haven't out there, check it out off the grill podcast. He did a review, Flaming Hot Mountain Dew. Absolutely. Yeah, I miss Ethel. <laughs> yeah, she's a nice. She, nice she's lady. a skanky old broad. <laughs> yeah. You know, like Columbus. Columbus is uh, Ohio is like one of the the markets, the test markets for like food and stuff, fast food. Oh, yeah. So like all all the stuff that we eat that. You know, it was new. You know, new to the menu usually goes there first. But like, who the fuck comes up with stuff like that? Like, who was like, hey, you know what would be a good idea? Flaming hot shit and Mountain Dew. Yeah, I gotta move. Like, I gotta, like, I gotta uh, move to yeah. Columbus, Ohio, then at some point. Yeah, it's yeah. been like a Japanese meme for years now that they have that over there, right? I mean, the, it's That's like crazy. Mountain Dew and Doritos and Flaming Hot Cheetos go together for some reason. Ew. Yeah. Um, I don't want to drink that shit, though. Like the Doritos tacos, you know what I mean? Like that, you know, they're like, oh, okay, cool, Ooh. Doritos tacos, whatever. Yeah. Ooh. But, I mean, if that's so popular, how come they ain't come out with damn bread that tastes like Doritos? Because everybody knows you put Doritos on a sandwich and then crunch it and eat it. You know what I mean? Like a ham sandwich. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I love me some ham sandwiches. Ham sandwich, mm. that's what's up. Fucking maple hey, brown sugar, fucking black forest. Oh, that's right. Funny maple. Put you, put you some Doritos in there, crunch mm. it down. Mm. 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 Oh, yeah. mm. Go to town. I didn't know Freddie Prince canceled. I hadn't heard that shit. I don't care. Oh, really? I don't <laughs> have any desire to. If I met him, I'd like, dude, your Twitch stream is pretty cool. You know? Like, <laughs> he streams on Twitch? Yeah. That's all he does yeah. now. His butt. He's got puffy money, though. He's good. I know. He's got what? Is it? Is it weird? i have never. I mean, I've only met like one or two people that I've seen on TV, but I always found it kind of strange when I see them because I'm like, you look really familiar. <laughs> it's like you know it's them, but it's still at the same time, yeah. you're like, like, huh? It doesn't quite That's... look like they do on TV. You're like, oh, that kind of looks like you. I've always I mean, okay. kind of felt sorry for them a little bit, like. I know my first convention, I met Julian Sands, like, or I paid him three times because I was just, no, there was nobody at his booth. And I'm a big fan of the guy. I'm like, I guess I'm getting another Warlock signed. You know? <laughs> What's up, dude? What did you say her name was? Julian, Julian Sands. Julian Sands? It's, it's, a, it's a man. She um, has nice man. flower flaps, too. Oh, oh man. <laughs> Fucking term. <laughs> He's a man. <laughs> He had a beard. I got Sid Haig. I got to sign like a bunch of different things at different times just because. Yeah. I mean, Sid Haig, you know, like he should never, you know, rest in peace, should have never had a, you know, not had a line, you know? Who's that? Yeah. And he never charged a lot either. He was always 25 bucks. And always, yeah. $10 if you just brought your own shit. Oh. I got drunk with Tom Green in a bar. Really? Yeah. That's awesome. Flagstaff, Arizona. Yep. So he was pretty cool? Uh, he was drunk. But yeah, <laughs> I mean, it, it was one of those awkward things where it's like, like I said, you see him and you know it's him, but you kind of still staring at him like, eh, is it? It kind of looks like him, you know? I saw Steve-O oh, yeah. and Tom Green do a stand-up special together, which was surprisingly decent, really? actually. Yeah, they weren't bad. Oh. Yeah, they're both doing stand up now. I like Steve O. Yeah. He's got a lot of respect for Steve O. He's a very humble person that, uh, yeah. you know, was a very hardcore drug addict for quite a while. And, <laughs> yes, uh, very He hardcore. owns that shit, though. Yeah. You know, he owns it. You know? Yeah, I mean, he's still pretty hard into the drugs, but he's still alive. He's sober as a cat fart, man. 
No, yeah. <laughs> he relapsed a couple years ago. <clears throat> he's no, on he the fucking okay. Joe Rogan tip. He's just on like vitamins. Joe Rogan. But did you guys see him like snort the tequila shots the other day on his YouTube channel? Really? No. I'm just joking. Oh. He's got a great <laughs> podcast though. You guys yeah. should check it out. Uh. I've seen one episode with Post Wild Malone. Wild Ride, I think it is. Wild Ride. Yeah, Post and Post Malone. That was a great episode. Talking about a dude that went off the fucking rails. Who Post Malone? Yeah, he looks like a damn like a what? 1990s trapper keeper, fucking drawing what, all over his face tattoos? and shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, man. Way to describe it. Trapper yeah. keeper. <laughs> Fucking! I mean, I'm I'm all into tattoos. Don't get me wrong, but like, you have a theme. Don't just put, I'm just gonna put a bunch of shit. I mean, put a kitty here and put I got a shit here. Ball and chain over here. I got a mace. I got a fucking, you know, angel wing coming out of my eyebrow. Like, I never got the face tattoo stuff. I mean, it's whatever. Do your thing. I get it. You know. I mean, I know people that, you know, they'll tattoo their whole throat and everything like that, the back of their head. You know. But you're from a big city like people just kind of look like that you know like la houston all that shit like that like that's just the normal shit yeah but i mean like, i look at not on I the look face at, yeah i know <laughs> well it's job stoppers for sure um but i, I think stoppers? of post malone and i'm like man that's just like a bunch of bad decisions all over your face man yeah, yeah but well, he drinks bud light life. so what do you expect <laughs> yeah he gets paid for that so yeah, yeah. Uh, somebody's watching porno in the background. Here, it sounded like screaming. a werewolf. What is that? I like werewolf movies. <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> oh, there we go. I don't know where y'all find all that shit, dude. That shit's so funny. That was a pretty oh, badass. Uh... <laughs> My Instagram feed is nothing but the retards. The retards? <laughs> good people. Good people, right? Not the brightest, but good people. <laughs> <laughs> what Travis? I'm gonna hire Travis as my bodyguard, man. Hell yeah, Travis Callahan, Travis Scott. Yep. Hayden's favorite song is "Special Olympics" by Stephen Lynch. Oh, <laughs> uh, Halloween Kills got pushed back. I saw no a guy one time that uh, he wasn't able to break a bottle in half, but I bet Travis could do it. Wait, never mind. It was just some article talking about it. I got scared for a second. You heard Kylie's having another baby. He said Travis Scott. That's what made me think of it. Oh, really? Kylie? Oh. Oh, I forget which one that is. It's one of them. I don't, I don't know. If that's Who, the... Travis or Carly? Kylie. Oh. Kylie. Kylie's Kylie one of the Kendall. fucking which dumb ones. ones? The, what's the rich one? Kim. All of Kendall. them. <laughs> yeah, all of them, yeah. Of them, Kendall's yeah. worth a billion dollars, dude. I think she's worth more than Kim he, is. Yeah, she may have pulled ahead, uh, but I mean shit at that point. You're you're talking, what, 20? All the Kardashians have had more black people in them, inside of them than an NAACP meeting. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's not wrong. I'm not wrong. That's the I truth. Know. <laughs> said, Sorry, an urban NAACP meeting. I should say that first. <laughs> Put that out there. That's so stupid. Words mean things. Well, we're about to wrap this thing up here. He's about to die. Finally getting some sunlight and uh, a kiss. Yeah, I, I think Thank this you, movie sir. holds up quite well. That guy's face always bothered me, though. I don't know what it is. Just Which He always guy? looked weird. That main actor in that movie. <coughs> Josh Hartnett. Jo- yeah, he just he just always looked... He always looked like he's contemplating taking his shit or not or something, you know? It's like... <laughs> Wait, Ashton <I> Kutcher? <laughs> yeah, the, Ashton Kutcher. Yeah, Hartnett's yeah. better than Kutcher. As far as actor goes, uh, they look identical in this movie. I can't tell the difference. Oh yeah, get that surge going. He has a hajib on the whole time, or whatever you called it. 
Uh -huh. <laughs> Ajeeb. It's a good ending. Yeah. <clears throat> You've been live for two hours already? Jesus. Damn, Going for son. a record, Jay? Who am I going to pick? Damn, son. Jay the Stingray in the 2021 streamer draft chooses. Oh, it's a streamer draft? Uh, dumb I guess. Drums. I don't know. You can choose dumb somebody drums. like a famous streamer. Dumb drums. Drum, dumb, dumb drums. <sighs> well, All right, guys. That's wow. been 30 days a night. I like it. Yeah, I, I, it was fun watching that one again. Yeah. They could have they could have done a lot more with, with the sequel. There's a sequel. Yeah, but it's, it was not it's not direct. Yeah, I haven't even watched it, but I know it's not worth thirty more days of night. <laughs> yeah, I did. It's fucking terrible, man. Mia Kirshner's good in it, but that, that's about it. Mia Crenshaw. But so, this first one, it's it's a it's a good worthy horror movie. Yeah, watch. that that one's not too bad. I, I that, it wasn't a bad movie. It's you know that's kind of cool, the shit in the dark, and you know, <sighs> yeah, clever sense. idea. It makes sense concept. because yeah, because it does happen in real life. I mean, like somebody cut the power out, and all of a sudden there's you know vampires. Yeah, and they didn't try to play it off like it was something that it wasn't. You know what I mean? So that's kind of cool. Yeah. I, so I, it wasn't a bad. Like I said, beside the guy who looks constipated. It's so, all right. I, I agree, Jamie. He just has a thing with his eyes. It is just like, you know, it's just like, he's always squinting, looking for something. <laughs> it's like, mm, it's like, mm. <laughs> it's that, no, that bro. smell the fart acting. Yeah, man. It's <laughs> like, just like, always look like you're just smelling a stinky fart. Yeah. Exactly. Kind of, it's just, it's just weird. Have you? Uh, what? I know Dan might know what it is. Uh, you were talking, you were talking about earlier. Mila, Mila Kudins. She did a movie where she apparently she was a. <laughs> she did a movie where she was apparently a, a crack addict. Oh yeah. Yeah. My wife, my wife said something about it. Apparently, it's going around on Facebook. It's supposed to be like a really good movie. She's like. She's really she's so good in the movie. Like people were concerned about her, I guess. Really? Yeah, she like Wait, loses a, a bunch of weight. Yeah, it's a recent movie with her in it. Ooh, with Mila. Really? Yeah, and she's apparently addicted to crack or some shit. She was in American Psycho too. <laughs> oh, is that any good? No. No. I mean, she's in it, but other than that, no. It ain't got bail. It ain't good, bro. Yeah. So guys, I got these cards before we take off here. I wanted to play a quick little game with you guys. Ooh. This is called Are You Garbage? <laughs> yes. Yes. And this is a, a podcast. <laughs> Hayden and I will say yes. That Steak Do Sauce we? got me into, and these guys made a card game. So, All right. Let's okay. ask you guys some questions real quick here. Has anyone in your family ever owned a pontoon boat? Uh, I own a pontoon boat. <laughs> No. 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 Yes. My my sister has one. My parents did when we were when I was a teenager. If I had the money, I would have one. They're fucking awesome. They are. Picture. <laughs> Do you use colored Christmas lights? Yep. Yes. Yeah. What's wrong that's, with that? That's racist. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Which colors? <laughs> Only use the white ones. Hayden, you list these Cornelius. All right. Sorry, go again, Jay. Do you drink milk with dinner? No. No. Not usually. No. I mean, no. Did you as a kid? My dad like, <laughs> yeah, I give a smell at dinner. As a Not kid. regularly. You know? I mean. Probably once in a great while. Yeah. Are you keeping ch tallies? And then no. at the end, it's like, who's I think we already garbage. know the answer to all of us. I mean, I'm, oh. 
<laughs> I'm certified garbage. Have you ever had a fake Christmas tree? Yes. 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 Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's all we of... have. Both. Yeah, my both too, but yeah. Yeah. Do you prefer Domino's over Pizza Hut? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> so is this like the, the yes is the garbage answer? Yes. Okay, I got it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Have you ever left a bad Yelp review? No. 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 Nope. I haven't either. I've never used Yelp. No. I prefer you, women. Have you ever gone to a wax museum on a family vacation? Thank yes. you, sir. They look like fucking Paris Hilton. <laughs> San no. Antonio, Madam, whatever her name is. I uh, I've been to so. one. Yeah, Trousseau. Yeah. It's right next to Ripley's. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's not the end destination, but yeah, of course. Multiple we always went to Ripley's Ripley? instead. You go to the Alamo. You oh, really? go to the Wax Museum. <laughs> you know. You save money if you buy tickets to both, though. Yeah. It's cool. So I, I wanted to go to the wax museum, but it's like right after you. Well, Ozzy pissed on the Man Alamo, wax mannequins. So it's better. <laughs> Has anyone in your family collected the state quarters? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no. no. Yeah. Yes. That's hilarious. Yeah. Uh, me too. <laughs> Garbage. Guilty. Do you do you play scratch off lottery tickets? No. <laughs> no. Not often, but every now oh, and then. Yeah, not on a regular basis, but I but I have for fun. Yeah. Every now and then. Yeah. This one's stupid. I'm gonna, I'm gonna skip this one. Have you ever <laughs> skied in jeans? That's that's stupid. <laughs> no. Nope. Nope. Oh, my <laughs> he's out of here. He's like, he's, fuck, man, that's all I You're I'm not going to out me tonight. <laughs> Those keys? Have you, yours? Have you ever owned a Snuggie? No. No. <laughs> What's the name of this sick. game? Are you garbage or are you trash? Are you garbage? <laughs> yeah. If someone gave me a Snuggie, I'd probably use it. You ever had a Snuggie, York? <laughs> no. Damn it. I know a friend who's had one, though. And he thinks he's hot shit. He's a dumbass. <laughs> Have you ever owned a snake? <laughs> I've wanted no. to. No. No. You still would, want you, to. You would kill that thing so fast, Tater. No, come on. <laughs> you only you just gotta make sure it's got a heat under its little thing. It's got a couple <laughs> hides and you gotta clean it. And... It's kind of like ignite while he's on stream. <laughs> he turn the you damn just thing. Feed through, it honestly. once a week, and you're good to go. <laughs> yes, I had, a, I had a ball python in college. Yeah, it never did. Well, I always had cats, so I don't know. Seemed a little risky. <laughs> Have you ever owned a Scarface poster? <laughs> <laughs> no, but goddamn, at least half of the people I knew did at one point. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Are you garbage? I know someone who has one. Have you ever had a padded toilet seat? <laughs> That's a big no. one right there. My grandma no. did. Yeah, my, my grandma did too, but my I My grandmother did, parents. yeah. <laughs> you sit on it, it's like... <laughs> yeah. I like it though. You ever had one work? <laughs> no, but my grandma did. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think I think a few of us are going to be guilty of this one. Uh, have you ever had a taquito from Seven Eleven? Hell, hell yeah! Oh yeah! <laughs> <Money. Nope. laughs> Actually, I still do. From the quick I've trip. had some bad ones too, and I still went back and oh. got more. I'll trust Quick Trip, but not Seven Eleven. Oh, I don't know man. why. I never got warm food from gas stations. Always beef jerky and shit like that. Mm. I used to get the chili dog, or well, you get the hot dog, and then you pour the but, chili and cheese on it. Yeah, yeah the nachos are not bad. I mean, you can put your own shit, make them exactly how you want them. Yeah, it's not best bad. thing. Um, gas stations would have would be slushies or the yeah. slurpee real slurpee, slurpees or icies yes yeah none of the generic slushies 
the really ones, good to me. the best one, and I, the only thing I missed about West Virginia uh, was sheets. Sheets that you get like a touch screen. You can make burrito, sandwich, burger, whatever, exactly like you want it. I mean, it is fucking awesome. Um, I've heard of that before. Yeah, if you're you're ever on a road trip, um, no, I don't think any of you guys. You guys are all way out, but I know Pennsylvania, West Virginia. Um, I don't know if they go into Maryland at all, but uh, yeah, oh, I've heard God. nothing but good thing about uh, good things about Sheets and Wawa's. <laughs> Both of those, mm-hmm. yeah, Wawa. Never been to Wawa either. Hey, baby. They're like only in Jersey, basically, in PA. Mm -hmm. I hear uh, Mike and James talk about them all the time. Oh, they're so good. From Cinema Massacre. I thought you were talking about coffee time. (laughs) Gentlemen across the way. Hey, Mike. Hey, Mike. Haven't seen you on in a while. Good Good morning. morning. Hello. Early morning. Playing a game of Are You Garbage right now. Come and go, Ben Grimm. You have those. That's come we on. We had those in Colorado. Yeah. No, that's that's gas stations. That's awesome. I love it. We got a bunch. <laughs> yeah, they had them in Colorado, man. I love going there because they sell shirts that say "Come and go." <laughs> My brother Daddy used Knoxville. to buy a bunch of lighters and take them back to where he is to yeah. hand out. Does or did your family use bacon bits? I still use bacon bits on the daily. Well, so for salads, I mean, yeah. <laughs> I I don't like the <clears throat> crunchy bacon bits. I never have. I my my family doesn't like them. They like they like to just cook the real bacon and break it up. If like even in salads, I'll my family love it. Yeah, the I have shitty, family members. The do. shitty ones at, at, at buffets are trash, but if you get the Hormel or the Oscar Mayer in the bag, that's what I usually go to. Well, that's, that's love that real shit. bacon. That, that's yeah. real. Until I got a bunch of fatty pieces. And one that's that's bacon bits, though. Now, bacon bits is the brand. They're, they're really crunchy. Oh, they're bacon. really they're shitty kind. Bacon. No, fuck yeah. those. Fuck those, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's a shitty kind. Have you ever used duct tape to fix your car? No. No, oh, this is really garbage. Yeah. I, I probably have. Um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and just say yes. Yeah. <laughs> have you ever used the phrase, it's five o'clock somewhere? No. <laughs> no, and every yeah. time someone's saying that song, I wanted to murder them. My brother's it. wife has done that, and I fucking hate her. And yeah. Five o'clock probably somewhere. Probably why. Oh, who wants some white zimp? I'm sure I've said it, but I usually oh. say something like, oh, it's at least noon. Well, I never she... say it when drinking. I'll say it for <laughs> stupid shit. Like... She has a shirt that says it's a wine o'clock somewhere. Oh, my God. And it oh, may... I want to call die. her the oh, I want to call her the C word so bad <laughs> when I see it. But... Who is this again? My brother's wife. Uh, oh, okay. So do you know how to work a gun? Well, I'm not that. I don't hate <laughs> that. Much, I think she's subbed to me, Dan. Oh, she's she maybe watching this right now. Uh, I, I could care less. Fuck you if you are. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, at least he likes you enough not to kill you. <laughs> yeah, <that's> something. <laughs> this is a big one. Does anything in your home say live, laugh, love? <laughs> no. no. I hate that shit. I just don't know who I buys it. Too. And I, everybody... think, I think we have it around here somewhere. <laughs> the ladies. It's just yeah. like everybody buys it, though. Why would... I don't know. It's just not... I don't... You know what yeah. pisses me off more than that? Is those stupid shirts and anything that has life is good on it. No, it's oh, not. Yeah. Life fucking sucks. Fuck you. Yeah. Fuck you. <laughs> fuck you. Take your stupid smiley face. It's gay as fuck. This is about like a Jeep thing. Believe. Just believe, or No, oh, fuck that. My life doesn't. It's, it's it's a bunch of hills. Sometimes it's awesome. Sometimes it's. Oh, that's sucks. fucking downhill fast for me, but. <laughs> Mr. Glass Half Full over here. <laughs> fuck glasses. Yeah, Literally. I don't know. 
It's right in the middle. <laughs> I mean, sometimes it sucks. Catch me on a wrong day, I'll be right with her. Yeah, fuck this shit. <laughs> oh, it's after eight, <laughs> oh, Mike's got us a question here. Happy Batman Day, everybody. No, I've never done that, Mike. Only leather jackets, Mike. Happy Batman Day. <laughs> and sunglasses. <laughs> and, and only when I'm breaking a bottle. <laughs> oh, trying to break a bottle. It's my work jacket, you nerds. <laughs> Uh, Do you have any aunts or uncles where you don't use their first name? Example, Aunt Tuddy. We don't use their first no. name. I probably did that when I was a little kid. I mean, not now. It's always been Aunt, whatever their name is. Someone's yeah. Saying. That's a pretty fucked up names in my family, too, so it doesn't really say a whole lot. <laughs> Yeah, not, when I was a little kid. So I guess, I guess that's a yes. Yeah. I don't think I ever did. Surprisingly enough. Hmm. Have you ever used a squeegee at the gas station to clean anything other than your windshield? Yeah. Me too. What? What, what else is there? I don't not think often, so. but like, you know, situations. What? What do you clean your balls or something? I don't, yeah, I'm confused. Oh, fuck yes, <laughs> they're sweaty now. Yeah. And dirty water, yeah. like an oil <laughs> spill or something. That guy's cleaning his fucking like gas sack. on the side of the car. Maybe I don't know. Oh. The guy's cleaning his asshole. <laughs> I mean, I've cleaned his. <laughs> He just has his pants around his ankles. And he's just like, he's like this. <laughs> you got to use the right end, though. Yeah. Oh, yeah. If you use the, the plastic side, it would hurt like a yeah. motherfucker. Yeah. Drawing straws to see who gets to go out and confront him. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gone by the time they decide. Ghost. Oh, Did your family yeah. use Miracle Whip? Oh, That's funny. Yeah. We de we demanded it as kids, but now that we're I'm older, I, I prefer what's, mayonnaise. What's the good shit called? Uh, called the good. Um, oh, I, I I thought we were talking about fucking not Miracle Whip, but Cool Whip. Oh, that's cool. what I thought we were talking about. Yeah. Oh, I don't know. And there's another thing too. When a kid preferred Cool Whip, now I prefer real real whipped cream. Yeah. Yeah. Cool Whip that does have a flavor I like though. Yeah, it's fine. I don't mind it. I'll um, eat it, but I like I prefer... Cool Whip. You know, sometimes instead of getting like you know, a pint of ice cream or something, you can just buy like the fat free, sugar free Cool Whip. Put it in your freezer actually. Little hack that for you. Yeah. Just yeah. use Hellman's Save on the calories. Uh real man, yeah. Yeah. Hellman's is a yeah. shit. Definitely. Melman's, uh, my wife's been buying this thing called Dukes lately, which I don't know if that's national or whatever, but it's not bad. But Sounds yeah, Hellman's is king. Oh, no problem, Mikey. I just can't think of under anything like mayonnaise without thinking Undercover Brother when it's like the <laughs> Denise Richards is putting on the, all the mayo. I love uh -huh. that fucking movie. <laughs> Undercover brother. He's oh, got the man. orange drink, I think, and he's going around in the car. Try not to spill it. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. That's probably why she bought it, Ben. Do you have any trophies on display in your home? <laughs> no. At my parents' house in my old bedroom. <laughs> Just we did. I think shit. they're like in cabinets or in the closet somewhere in a box now. I don't see how that qualifies. I don't, though. I think it's like, you know, this is Jimmy's soccer trophy from when he was seven. And it's like, <laughs> now he's, room, like on the mantle. Now he's dead. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> yeah. Thing he, he, he peaked early. <laughs> and it, <laughs> got him. It, it would fall downhill. <laughs> <laughs> Relive the glory days. 
<laughs> he thought he was going to the Olympics, but he got hit by a bus. Uh, <laughs> Jeez. It reminds me of that guy who was doing like a backflip over a car on live TV, and it fucked up, and he ended up paralyzed from the neck down. Oh, damn. I never he, saw that. That yeah. was like his oh. one like claim to fame, and then he fucked it up on live TV. <laughs> I'd rather fucking have... it up isn't the and worst. It was, thing it was his happened. wife driving the car too. <laughs> 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 I know we shouldn't laugh at that. I'll you blame can her. Google it; it's hilarious. Do you still have your Grammy on your shelf, Hayden? My Grammy? Did you throw that out? Oh, from the from the with your days? little league trophy. The Grammy? Yeah. What do you mean? Grammy? I thought you won a Grammy for, for Lamborghini Ho. Oh, I wish, man. <laughs> you should have. <laughs> you got robbed. Oh, man. I don't think I can beat that. I don't know. Maybe I'll give it a try one day. Let me ask you guys. You know, the, the Paralympics are going around right now. What's the They're difference? over. Is that a virus? They're over now? Yeah. What, what does the para part mean? Para means you're missing body parts or something like that, and then Special Olympics means you're mentally challenged. I know that, but I've been watching it, and they all are able-bodied. No. Wait, you got all I your arms and like, legs. I thought all it was like para, para, paraplegics, or where do you... Yeah, it's I like you're missing an arm or a leg or you're in a wheelchair. Or it doesn't function. I think yeah. there's some shenanigans going on, dude. <laughs> well, I mean... I, I what should have been excluded was? from the Paralympics, god damn it. Don't discriminate against me. <laughs> That'd be funny as shit. You just get like oh, some God. guy like flipping the chairs over. And... <laughs> I love this wasn't part of the questions. No, sorry. <laughs> I don't know. I looked it up and it looks like everyone is disabled. The ones are showing you. What are you talking about? The actual competitions. I've watched some of the shit. They're all got yeah. arms and legs, man. I don't know. It's a shame. <laughs> I typed in Para Olympics. Are they missing hands? They're all missing You're something. missing like half a pinky finger or something. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if that counts. I lost Look, I'm in not the too war. Far away. Oh, no. Well, it's also for transgenders. Mike and ben. They, they count now. Okay. No, you took it too far, Hayden. <laughs> I think there's 10... Th at least 10 items on a list that this show should have been canceled tonight. Sure. <laughs> I would say eight and a half of them are Hayden's fault. <laughs> yeah. I'll, I'll take it. I'll take the I bet blame. you will. You fucking but yes, there slut. is at least one and a half that is not. So See what happens when you take let gingers run into your neighborhood? It's right there. Perfect example. I know, that's why we keep them out. All these people are missing stuff. Oh, hold on. Jake, pull this up real quick. This will be a great Rare, commentary. Yeah. Okay, look. This is from the Paralympics. This dude's missing a foot, but this dude's got both of his feet. And both arms. But he, No, he's missing a hand. I don't that's kind of bullshit. Like, I feel like he has the advantage, though. Like, this no, dude not necessarily. On there. You have to be equally fucked up to, to do it, is what you're saying. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like if you're missing a hand... But you've got both feet. You have an advantage. <laughs> Equally <laughs> fucked up. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, that guy. Yeah. What's he missing? He's I can't miss, do his balls. Retarded. <laughs> what are you talking about? Oh my God. I think his arms backwards. It's like what is she missing? All right, Jay? she's good. A chromosome. <laughs> <laughs> what about this dude? She, she's cleared. I don't no, know this whatever is one is. taxi driver that you don't want to mess with. I don't wanna... Oh my god! Have you seen those? Have you seen those CrossFit people that do that? Did you okay, you're good. Uh, <laughs> I should have went to bed a long time ago. <laughs> what, uh, what's wrong with these people? So I, I can tell you. Oh, Not a damn thing. <laughs> she's blind. Not a. She's blind. She's looking at his oh, dick. <laughs> All right. That's her think, walking stick. <laughs> I think you uh, Hey, you should get a job as like a sidekick to one of those. I should be the announcer for this shit, man. I'm running. Oh, man. <laughs> Yo, little Katie's blind and she's running. Why has it got to be a black runner that spots her? Hayden. Why, why can't it be a fucking white one? 
Hayden spying on Pretty sure I've seen her on his ass. I went out of my contract. Now, What's up, Corey? Hi, Corey. Now, how hard you gotta fuck these chicks before it's illegal? <laughs> All right. A couple more. I mean, let's move on. He brings up a legitimate question for you single, fe- single fellas. Like, oh, if, if, they're, if their body's deformed to the nth degree... But their mind is... But their mind is stable. That's not messed up, right? I don't know. You're think saying so. if her mind is not, you wouldn't blow her back out? Well, <laughs> well, that, that's the other thing. Wait, wait a minute, I just really registered what Jake just How messed up yeah. does her too mind late. love? It's too late. <laughs> How far gone does her mind have to be before it becomes, like, having sex with someone underage or, you know... Well, wait a minute, it, wait a minute, wait a minute. How did you, how did you change this conversation up what? like that? I, I think <laughs> I if know. if they are self-sufficient, okay. which means they have their own place and they're doing their own thing, then you're good. If you mess with someone who's being caretaken, you know, by their parents, things like that, then that hmm. that's fucked up. Because obviously they're not... <laughs> well, <laughs> Forks like that's me! Yeah. <laughs> Ah, shit, so I take advantage so, of work hey, last you, week. You can't fuck work, okay? Can't fuck yeah. work. No, we can't fuck him. Well, can't shit, do man. it. I won't do it. He does, have, he does have snacks and fucking soda, though. So, I mean, there's that. You yeah. got that going for you. <sighs> I'll pop that hey, real hey. talk on your ass real quick, bro. I bet they like yeah. real talk. Get them some Sour Patch Kids or something? Well, like, I don't know. Like, What if their mind is stable, but they can't like speak... But they need taken care of for physical. Are you illness. asking permission, Hayden? No, <laughs> I'm just. Yes, yeah, so chicks. Course. Listen, honestly, that that if you That's really just... have a genuine relationship with that person, then sure. Look, okay, let me give you an example. Let me pull this up. If they have you? cerebral palsy or something, but they. Oh look, he's, he's gonna give us an example. He's been thinking about this for a while. Hold on, look, I, like I said, just... my Instagram is full of this shit, and I've been saving. These them. views do not represent the opinions of the Jada Stingray channel. <laughs> I got I got something for you, Jay. Hang on. Hold on, nor, I got a good one right here. Or any other channel except. Put a disclaimer up there. Here you go. Let me know when you have this, Jay. All right. Hold on, I, here she is. I'm, I'm... Little cutie. Vernon, yes. Vernon just uh, it was something that I told everybody at the very beginning of the week. I will not tolerate um, players that think it's about them when it's about the team. Yeah, and um, we cannot make we cannot make decisions that cost the team. Yeah, and then Listen. come off the sideline and it's nonchalant. Mm-hmm. No, you know what? I, I th- this is how I believe. Okay, I'm from the old school. I believe this. Mm-hmm. I would rather play with ten people. Yeah, Uh-oh. and just get penalized all the way mm-hmm. until we got to do something else, rather than play with eleven when I know. Mm-hmm. That right now, that person is not sold out to be a part of this team. Preach. It is more about them than it is mm-hmm. about the team. Cannot play with them. Cannot yeah, win right. with them. Cannot coach with them. Can't mm-hmm. do it. Hell oh, that's yeah. it. Y'all hear that? It. You were talking during the best <laughs> part, man. No, I don't. All right. Pull this up, Jay. All right. Now, good example. Okay. Pull this out, Jay. Oh, now, God. She's physically mangled to death. Oh, well, Jesus. Not really to death, but, you know. I'm praying. You know. What? It's called dating. She can't you really communicate. But listen, the doctor said she, her mind is all there. She just can't really. Hey, sure. Ask remember, her out if you find remember her Remember last week when we did. <laughs> I'm not saying that. You guys can carry a conversation. What the hell? I'm just saying pussy's pussy, you know. Jesus. All right. On that note. Uh, of age. Of age. Of age. Uh, good. But they they <laughs> say she's yes, mentally, even though she can't really communicate, she's mentally like five years behind what she should be. So she's almost 18 because she's almost 23 or 24. <laughs> I don't know how it works exactly. I, I, wait till she's 25 then. And... I'm not saying I'm going after her. I mean, that's what it sure sounds. Well, that's like. what it sounded like. I'm just wondering. For <laughs> it really does sound like that's just what I'm trying just to do. go for it, Aiden. <laughs> and that's okay, and as long as you treat her right. <laughs> this is getting twisted around on me. 
It's like the well, unnatable. And, and it, as long week. as you're treated right as well, it works both ways. Thank you, Jess. Sometimes, sometimes people don't worry about the other side yeah. of things. Sometimes you can't <laughs> let people roll all over you, bro. <laughs> if you have a handicap fetish, there's nothing uh, wrong with that. Sometimes you just got to stand up for what's right. Sometimes a little mangled hand can be just the right angle. Yeah, when I'm doing it, it's like this. <laughs> <laughs> Don't take her to the beach. <laughs> Jamie, like guys, you know what goes on over here. <laughs> Jamie, it's the late night talk. That should be Jamie. Jamie's name. Jamie Hart and then parentheses, uncomfortable, because every time she comes in here, <laughs> there's say, no telling what the hell is going to be said. This isn't fucking Twin Peaks coffee time. Fuck you know that what, show. Jay? We should end it here and just cut the last this, ten minutes out. This is what happens when you go <laughs> into good. that. It, event horizon this is like what they see before they come back or that weird part of youtube where you just you've been on it all night and the sun's coming up <laughs> you know i feel like if you're gonna sit through three hours of this shit you, you would have already checked out like if you're gonna be offended by that <laughs> I I hope so, already, so. you never know hayden is definitely buck from uh kill bill i agree <laughs> what does that mean you you like to fuck Hayden. Uh-huh. Buck for kill from... Oh, that dude. <laughs> Aiden. Yeah. So that's how Aiden makes his extra catch. He brings his pervert friends into the <laughs> hospital. <laughs> oh, man. This is worse than coffee time, she says. <laughs> well, that's how it should be. Oh, Fuck come on time. now, Jamie. That's cold. That's cold. Says, Orc, nothing. I want to hear That's your some cold impression. words. <laughs> nothing is. All right, all right, guys. Right. It's fucking Twin Peaks coffee time <laughs> over here. You fucking bloody wanker. <laughs> Chop your fucking dick off. Put it in me. What coffee? <laughs> coffee, love me coffee. <laughs> <laughs> you know they never have coffee on the damn show. Yeah. They're never drinking coffee. It's a fucking bullshit. Why don't you guys drink tea? <laughs> that name was yeah, already should, taken. Should be called Twin Peaks Tea Time. <laughs> it was already taken. <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, on that note, uh, three hour mark, probably a good time to wrap her up here. Merka. Uh, Fuck yeah. Fuck Anybody yeah. want to plug anything? Yeah. Dan? Uh, <laughs> Not on my that. ass. What? Flesh yeah. features on YouTube. We just put a video up today, so go listen and hit that like button. We appreciate it. Jess, you have anything coming up? Uh, yeah, there's going to be some shows. Um, we got the Horror Rumble. Uh, next episode is going to be Local Myths and Urban Legends. Oh, cool. Uh, not this weekend, but probably the following weekend sometime. Because I know a few people are going to be out at conventions. Yeah. Jess Graham yeah. talk show coming twenty. And Jess Graham live. We did just go out and uh, shoot some pickup shots or uh, awesome. some. Oh, sweet! Some uh, just you know, second unit type of stuff. Whatever you want to call it. Ooh, I'll give you my first unit. How about that? <laughs> <laughs> but hopefully that's coming soon. Cool. Yeah. Yeah, ch- cable channel eleven. Thanks, guys. I'm a little cable slow channel right now. eleven. Absolutely. Yeah. Hell yeah. I, I Hell got yeah. A video in the works that I'm still editing. It'll be out. I don't know. Sometime. Top then, ten disabled girls. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly. You read my mind. <laughs> <laughs> disabled, but still intellectually there. <laughs> did, did I get? Did I, that, did I say my topic? The topic wrong for that, Corey? <laughs> Local milfs and urban ladies. <laughs> That's it. That sounds like something for over here. We need to do over on this channel. Local gills. <laughs> um, Mike, yeah, do you have know. anything coming up? No, no. It's getting Not loaded. Really. Getting lo- I'm getting unloaded right now. I'm trying to. Work on my uh, my helmet setup for my moto vlog stuff, but I don't really have uh, a lot of topics to talk about, really, because mm-hmm. uh, I don't find I don't watch the news. So 
Mm-hmm. I don't find <laughs> I don't find things that appealing to me. Sometimes I just kind of like roll with life. So and you usually you have to have a about? topic to talk about. How do you feel about Afghanistan right now? <laughs> yeah, I mean you were you were a weekend update guy here, next gen. Come on now, yeah. stick with so. get the hot topics. Yeah, so but I got that I got stuff like that going on. I'm trying to figure out if I want to do that with the with the uh, with my channel or not. I don't have any videos anymore. I used to have a bunch of them, but I took them all down. So. Oh really? Yeah. <laughs> Oh. I could uh, I could I could share the, the the suicide prevention hotline. Yeah. So one eight hundred two seven three eighty two fifty five. Everybody. That's probably not a bad idea for every one of the episodes any of us do. So that's right. right. We just share that number. Oh, that's, that's right. Just keep that number scrolling at the bottom. Yeah. Of the You've been <laughs> watching this show and you start feeling down. Please call this number. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna go you should put put a, a different little number down there if you know what I mean. Tell oh Jesus! <laughs> He's calling. Him. I'm thinking about jumping off a bridge. He's like, go fucking kill yourself! I don't fucking care. <laughs> I should just leave it's this going. It's cold in here. I need my jacket. <laughs> what is that? Uh-huh. That's Remember the guys. number. <laughs> <laughs> Find out. Give it a shot. All right, guys. With that, uh, we'll wrap her up, and uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching, everyone. Peace out. Cheers, faggot.